Oh yeah, we're back. We're streaming. We're going for Master, you know how it is. It's all the same, but let's just acknowledge that somehow, somehow, Card Market Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Magician Casuals have got the common, the common printing of Dark Magician to the fourth most sold card in 2023. I don't know how. But it just proves that there is a casual, a massive casual fan base for Dark Magician. And ultimately, releasing the structure deck in uh, TCG and OCG for the cheap Magician Souls would be very nice. But you know, not everybody is a big fan of that. I think the structures should come to English, to TCG and OCG. I know the OCG Asian English, but... Release them over here. Give everyone cheap magician souls. Look how crazy they're going for common down. Um, we've only got two more days to try to hit masters. I don't think we're gonna do it. But you know your boy's gonna try. You know your boy's gonna go all out. But I thought this was like some nice food for thought while we play today. Um common dark magician being the highest selling thing yo what is up good to see you on the chat aspiring girl it is very based that you have had two days off and yes i've been there for both those days very very cool um all right let's go going second dm we're jumping straight in no one's here yet but it doesn't matter we got aspiring girl that's all we need gamma as the their buddy that's terrifying I need some water, god damn it. We're playing second? It might be water grind. Master of Dark Magician Gold from last rank. That's cute, I like that. Let me just check. Ah, uh, we need a maxi. All right, hold up, hold up. We need a maxi. Yeah, I hope we do some obelisk combos too. Desires. The soon to be one of. Well, we're not gonna maxi yet. This hand's pretty good. We got skill drain. We love that. Oh man, we are gonna be hitting the maxi real hard. No longer are we playing around Gamba as well. Oh yeah, look, they have the long guan. Long guilly. Does he have the chain? Nope, let's go! We're drawing cards, let's go! All right, we're drawing some cards, huh? A little bit of a max C challenge. Looks like he's taking it too. Look how many cards are in his hand. He has seven cards in his hand? Isn't Sword Soul truly beautiful? The pot of his eyes, hey? We're gonna need a big board. We need a really big board. Sword Soul Blackout. I'm pretty sure it's just any two cards. Two cards your opponent controls destroy them. Yep. Okay. Okay. So it targets all three. Good to know. Super Poly isn't really useful here, huh? Are they actually playing Summit? Big. Big Summit energy. Tactics? That's a nice draw. That's a really nice draw. Being able to take their last Sword Soul monster would be huge. Oh! And it's a different attribute. Isn't this a negate? You don't activate the spell trap while water's in your grave. Negate the activation if you do destroy it. Yep. So as long as Mo Yi's in the grave, and it is. Tactics as well. Look at your opponent's hand and choose one card. There's no way he picked that effect. Hey, use Pop, what's up? There's no way he picked to look at my hand. I have like 10 cards. 
I guess he's gonna rip my one tactics though. No, he's gonna rip the super poly. What? Bro, why not the tactics? I I can't super poly anything. <laughs> Wait, he doesn't have blackout. No blackout. I was like ready to play around it. No blackout. So when I activate a <coughs> monster effect, I burn. Spell the trap, I burn. He's gonna hit me with the instant max C. Meaning I can just lead with tactics, but I don't want it to be negated, obviously. <clears throat> he knows I have it though. And he darks in his grave. Or lights. No, that's annoying. Let's start with this. We didn't draw a Fenrir, that sucks. Fenrir would have been a real nice draw. I feel like we can bait some responses here, though. <coughs> so we're playing around one monster effect negate, really, and just one spell trap negate. That's it, really. Alright. Well, that one's gone. Does it negate the activation? Oh, circle. It doesn't matter with circle. Circle's once per turn. Regardless. Alright, there's the effect negation. Big. Big, big, big. I'm not sure how we're gonna get the spell trap. I guess true name will get it. I'm actually live, I know it's crazy. I guess secrets. True name? Any negates? What do we put on top? Secrets. Surely he negates this. No. He's saving it for the tactics? Brother, you won't have a tactics. We're gonna summon Obelisk from the deck, everybody. Get keen. Big Obelisk Gaming. Oh, we give him a draw. Big. Oh, you can banish one of those monsters. Uh, I forgot about that bit. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, I forgot about that bit. Yeah, that's pretty good. No bestial, please. I'm a DM. Let's get a random draw here. He still has the spell trap negate. <laughs> he still has the spell trap negate. I'm really trying to bait it, and he just doesn't want to bust it. We can Master of Chaos here, though. <clears throat> and, like, wipe the field and stuff, so that's cool. I guess I just have to blow the tactics. God damn it. What time is it? Summer time. It's about 2.40 p.m. He'll negate it, but like, I want it. <laughs> I want it, man. I guess I just have to blow it. Like, there's no point anymore. There we go. <sighs> I should have just done it from the start, but like, there's no way to tell whether they know what to negate. He did look at my hand though, so. That knowledge was pretty good, I guess.
Could still go Chaos Angel though. <clears throat> Means Illusion of Chaos, Chaos should have added pure DM. Because then we could have still done the big secrets combo. Let me think, can I still go dark? Oh, it gives him a lot of draws, doesn't it? I don't kill him this turn, so I've given him a lot of draws, but skill drain. Skill drain will carry. I swear. Oh wait, we could just get dragon. Oh, we can't play circle. We can't play circle. It already got negated. Big grim. I'm giving him all the draws. We can deck him out. Maybe we can deck him out. Hmm. He does probably find the shooter to bounce, hey. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm greeting for this draw. Yeah, that was stupid. I knew what card was there. Yeah, look, I'm pretty sure I could have played that better. I'm pretty sure we also lose this snore soul as well. I was hoping I'd be able to kill him in this turn, but nope. Man, I really need a pass. What is up? Game is in the chat. I gave him a couple too many draws. Um, yeah, I don't know if Skill Drain even gets us out. Probably not. Hit by the roach. <laughs> Can't think straight. I got one of your banished worms added to your hand, so what, he's returning one of the extra deck ones? Mm, there's nothing I can do about that. I still wish we got some recursion. Do this. On this. Wait, do they, do they have effects on banished? No, they want to be banished. Oh my god, he has Maxi again. <coughs> I think we have to flip Skill Drain here too, purely because... Oh no, I should have done it after Magnemite. Just in case he goes into Fleur, which I'm pretty sure he does. We lose the Magnemite search here, but that's... I think that's okay. Yeah, that's why I needed to flip the Skill Drain now. <coughs> Do I need Rod? No, I don't need Rod. I don't want to play into tactics either. I can't believe our beautiful obelisk got banished. That was rude. I forgot that it did that. I knew it burnt. I forgot that it can banish the monster too. Banishes the spell trap, banishes the moths. Pardon me. Man, they do love their, their sink tent, huh? Oh man, we're getting burned again. So rough. 
The amount of burn damage we've taken this game is too damn high. I'm still not sure why they gave the Sword Soul cards burn. Like, they don't need it at all. It's just like topped on. Cause, you know, make them better. But you could like read all of the all of the Sword Soul cards without the burn effect, and you'd still be like, wow, card's crazy. Like It's just like some crazy cherry on top kind of thing. And then, like, it's another archetype that wins in time. We hate that. We really do hate that. Loss has said hi, but I can't see their comment. This is weird. Got it on live chat. Oh, there we go. What is up, Loss? NL Elric. That's the end of the main phase. No, we won't do anything. That's cool. It's swords over seven months? Holy moly. Holy moly. That's a lot of swords so. We can get tactics back here, which is kind of cool. Or circle. I think we just get circle back here with Master of Chaos. We crash Master in here. Oh, he's probably got the good trap now, though, hey. Probably got, um... Draw into it. What's it called? Blackout. Oh yeah, we give him a draw. Rough. We're giving him a lot of draws this game, not gonna lie. Ooh, Nibiru. That might be good next turn, if we out the board. If we out the board. Is this bait? Because like, we've kind of got everything we need in the grave with Rod here. We're hoping that this gets negated. Yep, there we go. Rod engraved, nice, nice. That's kind of fine. Wait, we're on the skill drain. We're, we're on the skill drain. <laughs> we're on the skill drain, and he just called by Rod. Damn, you got me, bro. You got me good. All right, let's see if we can recycle one of the circles. <laughs> what is he doing? What is he doing, man? Any knowers? Any Noah's in the chat? That's called Big Brain and the Sword Soul Man. You know? Aw, oh, he's got the Ash. Well, we gave him 17 draws. Like, he probably should have the Ash. 11 cards in deck, though. Hmm. I think he kills us before that is ever relevant, though. But it's cool. Alright, well, he stopped us from getting Circle one way. Let's get it the other way. Bonk. I guess he doesn't have blackout or he would have used it. Alright, we'll get circle back. Oh, he got banished, didn't it? Well, he's used a monster effect? Yeah, he's used Ash. We get tactics. Yeah, they must be imperms, which is pretty funny. Oh, we should have used Magician Souls for the extra damage, man. Why don't we just look in his hand? Like, we've already got this game in the bag. Let's just look in his hand. Who needs to draw two when I can look in his hand? What you got on the menu there? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, let's get rid of that one, huh? Shuffle that one in. It's under skill drain, but we'll do it anyway, because we get DM off the field. I think it's worth it. Oh, we won't use the effect, there's no real point. Could have done this before the battle phase 2 for extra damage, but that's alright. Probably should have summoned in defense. Just to play around any shenanigans, but let's just pass. Monster of Chaos has been coming up more and more lately, it's kind of crazy. Adding spell back kind of good when you play spells like Tactics. The DM spells aren't good to add back because you're like, oh, I get circle, <laughs> like wow, or I get secrets. Getting tactics back, pretty good, pretty good. Getting super poly back, pretty good. Wow, what a top deck. What's up, gamer and blue Quinn? That's a top deck right there. That is like it plays around the skill drain too. What a top deck. He's got like no cards left in deck though. 
still got the Mogi either. So Nibiru is the other card in hand. Yeah, we just win, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we do. It must suck to lose to Sword Soul. Sword, Sword Soul, man, I can't talk. Must suck to lose to DM with Sword Soul, rather. Ooh, the top deck circle too. Alright, let's just finish the game. He's showing me that he, he's dead. He's like, please kill me. Give him the animation. Dark magic attack, baby. Well, good game to start off because skill drain is a card. You play into Maxi, I play into Maxi, and we just Maxi back and forth. Truly peak Yu-Gi-Oh! Maxi and just comboing into it. Hit Master for the first time today. Nice work, Blue Queen. Was that you in the Discord? What deck did you play? I know it wasn't DM, but what was it? Ooh, win and will gain a rank. Going second DM has been slapping cheeks. Honestly, skill drain to four facts. Facts. Dark Magician truly the best deck. I think that is true. It has to be true. If we can hit master with this list, I'll be so surprised. Ooh, not too bad for going second. Really depends what we're versing. It's branded. Ooh. Well, Super Poly's good here. Super Poly is actually good here, and so are the Bestials. So, not that bad. Not that bad. Dimensional Barrier. Wow, he's gonna regret getting rid of that. Alright, Big Welcome. Uh, big Welcome is from Hand Deck Grave. Okay. And then Clock. You can activate a normal card that was set this time. Oh. Elaborate monster. Okay. Um, okay, cool. Which one? How do they add back? That's what I'm checking. Okay. What is up, Red? Mutant is a quirky engine. Not gonna lie. What else does Big Welcome do? Is that lovely? The one off? It is the lovely. Uh oh! Just bring a card from your opponent's hand at random! I guess we chain this. Because what's this trying to do? Add to hand. Yes, we do this. Probably not. It's probably worth it to wait for the lovely, but I don't want it to get sniped. It always gets sniped, man. I have such bad luck on Master Duel Snipes. That's pretty much the best card that could have been sniped. I mean, Super Poly would also have been good because I have two. Uh, it cannot be activated this turn unless you have a Fiend. Is that what it said? Unless you control a Fiend. Banish this card from a grave, target a fiend you control. Roll 8 or higher, target a card your opponent controls instead of turn the card to the hand. But you could have popped it back to my hand, which is probably not a good. You did it in the wrong order, banish their furniture. Oh, okay. So banish the, the clock, is that what you mean? I mean the clock's the clock's not coming back, yeah. True name, but we lost our soul servant. Truly tragic. Yeah, he's got Big Welcome Labyrinth. Bit spooky. He's got the Ash. Damn, the true name not working. True name not gonna be working here. I agree, the furniture card sucks. I'm agreeing with all of this. I think we just try to combo here. Our hand is very bad. <laughs> Please be gone. Big welcome. The topping list of playing the furniture? Well, there you go. I swear when it came out, no one played the furniture, though.
Add a labyrinth from deck to hand. Okay. So did the big one go back to hand? Yeah, it did. Instead of getting sent. Oh no, I don't want a super poly. I want to yoink some furniture. How many spells are in the graves? Not many. Uh oh. Uh oh. Maxi. Uh I don't think I changed Super Poly. If I do change Super Poly, it doesn't really give me anything anyway. I think it's just set the Super Poly. Ceiling still playable? I have no idea. <laughs> I would say yes, like the deck's still good. Dealing players are crying right now though. It's crazy. I don't want to hard activate true name. I'm not big balls enough. I think it's just set super poly. Man, this thing's got 20, 21 defense. Yeah, wait for big lady. I will wait for large woman. I will wait for the enlarged lovely. Oh, well, here comes this one. Is Super Poly something for pure DM? Yeah, for sure. Gives you something to do going second. Or you can OTK with it, it's good. Okay. I have yoinked the claw. Highlight has said GG. We win now? Do I just wait for a second big lady? Well, that's not good. Uh, if you activate a set labyrinth, if you activate a set welcome labyrinth normal trap, you can do the pop. Um, if you activate a non labyrinth trap, you can special a theme hunt. I'm pretty sure he can't because we have his clock. And we banished his chandelier. Okay, this is good. A labyrinth card from deck to hand. Oh, big thank, Dread Hog. You're a legend, good sir. Good to see you here in the chat again, my man. We're going for the win, of course. Um, I could have chained, but I don't did it. Should I? I'm pretty sure I just wait for battle phase. Dregoat super chatted one dollar and ninety nine cents. Just checked in. Here's a little something, but win toe. Big thank king. I will win. Look, I have no argument in this lab furniture, no furniture shit. I will just say. TCG builds didn't run the furniture when it came to master all the furniture started getting run so naturally I thought the furniture was bad Because I was like well that wasn't played when I saw it win But you know I could be wrong. I have no idea the furniture cards seem Interesting to say the least He wants his furniture back I'm gonna discard true name the super poly actually good here I think I'm happy to make Starving Venom. Does Rod say tribute a monster? Tribute a spellcaster. Damn it. I don't think it's worth getting rid of Dark. I think it's better to keep Dark. If Dark added when it got tributed, then it would be worth it because you get plus, you go plus two, kind of plus one, but you know. All right, we're stealing your attack. Thank you. He really wants the clock back. The card is sent from your hand to the grave to activate your normal lab trap. Rot roll. He's doing things. I don't like it. Just Jerry Beam, man. 
Go to your engine for discard and then come back. Jerry Beans man is crap. Clapped. Where is Jerry Beans man? Jerry Beans man is too powerful. Jerry Beans man is the only good lab monster. You can activate a lab trap that was set this turn. Not good. Not good because the spell's up. So what, he pops a card? Destroy one card on the field. Yep. Still the battle phase though, does he get it in the battle phase? Yep. Um, Starving Venom effect? Hello? Yes, thank. Starving Venom effect. Goodbye. Wait, what does that do? What does this do? Return that card to the- Oh no! That's annoying. Well, at least his field is gone. Oh, he gets the special. The Stovey. Torby. <laughs> Stovey Torby. Why has it got two names? It could have just called it Stovey or Torby. Torb from, uh, what's it called? Overwatch. He discarded D-Barrier. Yeah, I know. I don't know why he discarded the D-Barrier. Man, we can't get going this game. We cannot get going. 2k defense walls us out. This is really shit. Is Ash his last card? No. We don't have DM. So I guess we're adding Soul Servant? Then we turn off Super Poly? <sighs> How many grave effects does he have? Okay, so that's one. My god, there's a lot of guys in there. I think I have to set the Soul Servant. Which is so bad. That'd be Max sees me right now. Maxi, 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 Maxi. Whoa, that rain is really loud. <laughs> yes, no back roll. Let's go. Uh, maybe I'm trolling. Maybe you just set Super Poly and win. Do we still have Garura? Maybe we just set the Super Poly. Do we set the Super Poly or the Soul Servant? Look, based on them having no cards, I'm gonna go with this. If this ends up being wrong, like, like sue me. Stovey in the end phase? What does it do in the end phase? Oh, discard set one. <gasps> oh crap. I, I have messed up. I was reading the second effect, not the first effect. Shit. Rat roll, Raggy. Can it be activated that turn? No? Then I think it's okay. Did we keep the super poly for next turn and we're fine then, I think. What? There's no way he discarded Fenrir. No. No. And no way he just discarded Fenrir. Oh, I guess he couldn't summon it because he summoned Stovey like a freaking idiot. <laughs> Alright, welcome is back. Summon a Labyrinth from deck. Oh shit, this turns everything on, doesn't it? Oh man. Now he can activate it. Wait, but he didn't? Wait, what? Why did he do that if he wasn't gonna flip? Oh, he needs a lab monster. Is it actually over? Like, we have Super Poly in here. Does he actually kill us? Does he actually kill us? That's kind of crazy, if, if true. No! 
Why does this not activate? It just happens. He just keeps resetting the traps. Okay. Well, he's been through how many welcomes? Two welcomes and two big welcomes, right? One, one big welcome? I thought we went through two. Is that all three welcomes? No, that's still just the two welcomes. Two welcomes, one big welcome. We might be okay. <sighs> Man, it sucks that not having DM engraved is so, so crucial to this dumb deck. He does have a lot of cards, huh? You two, enough of the fighting. And another big welcome. Man, I I can't keep track of these traps. They keep moving around. Okay, so we can activate the trap that turn it set. Okay. Is it just one? Yeah, one. Okay, big big welcome. Big welcome one, two, welcome one, big welcome three. Okay, so wait, that's all three big welcomes? Yeah, okay, we've seen all three big welcomes. Oh, right, it rips the poly. Yeah, I see, I see. I see what you guys were saying. I see what you guys were saying. But I mean, set super poly would have just got popped anyway, right? Destroy a card on the field. I think we were just burned. I think we were just screwed. Granted, regained and beast, and you outgrind them. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh well, we'll see what we can do. But yeah, I think we're we're kind of dead here. Can rip every turn now. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, probably. Okay. Big well welcome gaming. Oh, it left the field, so now it hand rips. Yeah, that's rough. But we should have stacked Dark Magician here. <laughs> so he got popped, and then we could banish Soul Servant. My god, the chain links. Was a knock on wood before you start doing it. Rat row. Not gonna lie, the furniture do be destroying me. Maybe I should have super polyed the stovey, huh? <laughs> Where hand? Game bug. Where hand? All right, fair. You got me, lab player. GG. Like how there was like no sounds of cards blowing up because I had none. It was just like, oh, game, game's over. All right, well. Labyrinth, interesting. I like that DD Ghost has a cat in it. That's very cool. Oh, I think I should have super polyed. Like, ultimately, the, the starting hand I thought was good ended up being kind of the DM engine not getting online because we never saw a Dark Magician or Magician Souls. That's okay. Um, Ultimately, the two super poly, that was good, but like, we can only summon and discard so much. All right, Fenru, wow, this is a great going second hand. Okay. Reversing Branded, probably. I, th I think Branded should piss off, to be quite frank. Your Runic Stun twice, Golden and Knight? Honestly, Meno, fair enough. Honestly, fair enough. I do not fault you at all for that. Going second DM feels like copium. I mean, we've been winning with it. We went um, we went 10-8 last stream. We've been winning a lot more because going second cards are just good and everyone wants first, so... Seems to be alright. Facing control decks 10 times better than us at controlling the game? Yeah. Straight up. Straight up. Lab reminds me of like what old DM used to do with like the trap back row. But then Brenda reminds me of what like new DM wants to do with the fusions. And I was like, wow, we... 
DM is like the Mario of Yu-Gi-Oh, where it tries to do a little bit of everything, but it just does everything shit. But like, even Mario in Smash got good. Mario used to be like the character who was average at everything, like good at everything, but not master of anything, so he was shit in melee, for example. And then we look at Smash Ultimate, where Mario is pretty damn good, because being good at everything is now good. <laughs> Except in Yu-Gi-Oh, apparently. Yeah, Branded Fusion to 1 somehow made them invent all these crazy new lines and deck builds and 60 card variants. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh man, this guy's playing zombies. Zombies with the Bestial Engine. Well, isn't Super Poly really good here though? Because Zombie World makes everything zombie as long as they're the same attribute. I can just make Garura for free. Or oh, Mud Dragon also, I think. Branded and Super Heavy will be meta. Well, they're hitting the Super Heavy card. Ooh. They're hitting um, they're hitting the good one of the good Super Heavy cards. And yeah, Chaos Rule is also going. Yeah, this man is cheating. Man is cheating from three to zero. By the way, three to zero says a lot about a card, huh? It's crazy to me that Fenrir is not going to zero. Also, that Fenrir should be a zero. Fenrir is not okay. What super heavy is getting hit? Um, I honest, I don't know the deck, so I forget. But I mean, I made a video on it. <laughs> made a video on it. Don't know what card's getting hit though. Funny, bud. <laughs> made a video. Um. So the card getting hit is Soulbreaker Armor and it's going straight to zero. Isn't there Link 1 also the really good card though? Yeah, is Scarecrow at more than zero? Because then it's fine. Oh, the FTK is banned. Okay, fair, well fair enough for banning the FTK. Oh, oh, we milled a DM. You guys know how good it is to mill a DM. The one of evenly is gone, but that's okay. One circle's in the bin. DM in the bin, nice. But we've already got one in the hand with Super Poly, I guess, so it doesn't really make a difference. Um, what did he lose? He's also on Super... Wait, what? He took my DM. Bruh. Zombie DM. Spooky. I'm gonna Super Poly my own DM. So he lost his tactics, or one tactics. He lost one Super Poly, a Forbidden Droplet. Ash, we just get to know what he's kind of playing. The Chaos Man comes back here. Man, if he was playing second, that's looking like a pretty good board for OTK. Where yeah, yeah, when Dragoon unbanned. Fusion from deck, Link one that does something, Dragoon unbanned. That's when Master Duel DM pops off. DM truly needs everything. Not wrong. Not wrong, fellas. Craft Chaos Rule it. If you get a real one, you get extra points. Yo! <laughs> Big brain. We do kind of need a whole new game plan. That's kind of what happened with one of my fave Digimon decks, and I can agree that it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Oh man, we got that Don Dozo sticker. You know how it be. What's happening here? What's that, a, a baron? It smells like a baron. It is. Dark magical prosperity. Oh, he's gonna search a beast deal as well. Probably the Druid Swarm. No, he's gonna add Ball Drake. He's feeling Ball Z. He's also got Elf. I wish Elf had to summon to the zones at points too, but you know. Ooh, we ripped our tactics off the top. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, Doom King can come out and we'll just super poly that motherfucker away. Arrival Cybers. Adding this to Engine and DM. I don't think I've ever tried or heard of it. Sounds interesting though. Let's piss off that big guy. Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Summon Starving Venom, we're gonna rip off his facts. DMXZ's are trash, that is a fact. Magi Magi is also a bad card. 
Maybe if we got it 10 years ago, it would be playable. As soon as you splash engines with DM, it stops being DM and starts being Cope. I mean, sure. But, um, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna try to win. I do wish we could play pure. But, I think we all know how pure goes. I do wish the DM, Xyz, Fusions, whatever, were better. Or just give us Dragoon. Dragoon would be nice. Okay, so he's going to negate this and destroy it. Which will pop his field. Then we can summon Fenrir. So we pop his field. We can chain the elf, but it doesn't matter. Cool. Now we're in the main phase. That was all in the standby phase. Now we summon Fenrir. Pretty good board state for us. Wait, why can't we tactics? He used a negate. Why can't we tactics? Oh, during the main phase. No, no, no effects during the main phase have occurred yet. Uh, we banished the zombie world. And then it's probably just GG. That was all in standby phase. <laughs> that was the wildest standby phase. I probably I should have let it go to main. That is my fault. I should have let it go to main. But um, you know, it is what it is. So he can summon back. Does this come back? No, because there's no field spell zone. Um There's not a lot of recursion going on here. Oh, bring a beast? No. I don't know what the hell he does here. Oh. He's gonna... No, now he's turned tactics on. What does Legendary Magician of Dark do? Nothing. It's not a, it's, it's not a legal card. It's not a legal card. <laughs> Legendary Magician of Dark does some dark things. Let me tell you that. Continue my battle step. Um, yes. Wait, why did he summon his one card? Wait, I still can't do it because it was battle phase. I thought it was main phase too. I still can't do it. Oh well. <laughs> we no effect has occurred in the main phase this game. Crazy. Crazy. Um, where were we? Um, legendary magician of dark. Imagine if we actually had this card. Just three level sevens. Uh, can I be special summon? If we attack directly, reduce LP to zero, and while it has XE material, we win the match. <laughs> I know it's stupid. And your opponent can just scoop before you do it. So, like, you can't get the value, but it's still really funny. It's still super funny to me. Benry is super poly control, best deck. I was like, why can't I search the other ones in my bin? Yo, tribute for DMG? Real shit? Real shit? Bye bye, have a good time. Isn't Fenrir a card chat? And what a card it is. It is a very TCG effect, because OCG is the only best of one, I believe. But it's funny that you could summon it, attack, and it would put their LP on zero, regardless of their LP as well. And then you can just win the next game. But that could all be prevented by them just saying, Oh, I scoop. It's like, ah, uh, attack with this. Ah, uh, scoop. Ah, uh, next game. <laughs> Start sliding. Very funny. Oh, that's a, that's a good card to have, huh? Hey, 600, we should have reduced their LP further. I am glad Fenrir is going to 1, but it should be going to none, let's be real. This is a Fenrir deck with DM support. Yeah, like, yes. Yes, it is. Not gonna deny it. We need to see the going second cards. 2 Fenrir, 3 Maxi, 3 Super Poly. I think that's it, really. We do need to see them. Oh, he's also got the Tier Elements cash. Three cards in one. Fenrir is straight up like four cards in one for DM. Um, mill the top two cards of your opponent's deck. This doesn't out us yet. I'm hoping he summons one more Earth. <gasps> that is an Earth, but I don't think he's going to summon an Earth. Or is he? Please summon an Earth. Please summon an Earth. Please summon an Earth. Please summon an Earth. I can't really out my own Fenrir. I know I can super poly with it, but then I'm like, what do I do? Fenrir is Pankratops at home. <laughs> no way, Pankratops is Fenrir at home. Fenrir is the goat. Please summon... What is he summon? A zombie. 
Wait, special zombie from your hand? No, the other one. Um, special zombie from your grave. Well, half of them are dark. That's not good. Well, that one's dark too, and it's not even a zombie. It's punk. So most, a lot of punk are earth, but also one's dark. He's not a zombie. He is a zombie. Not a zombie. All the super polyable stuff, I'm not, not freaking... Can summon Ash Blossom, I guess. <laughs> Tank better going second, but yeah, Fenrir is just better because you can do it going first. It's so good. You cut Fenrir from your post ban list. It was too good to search for IOC and put the second copy back. Yeah, straight up. Legit, you like summon Fenrir, search Fenrir, Illusion of Chaos, put the other one back, and you can do it again next turn if your Fenrir lives. It's so silly. Yeah, them putting it to two was like, hey, do you want to never brick on Fenry? Here you go. Only play two. He's thinking real hard about the zombie he summons. Is it not just the big Unga Bunga? Is it not just big Unga Bunga, man? It seems like a pretty straightforward decision. Summon big Unga Bunga, man. And then when an effect's activated, you can negate shit. Chat, what is taking this man so long? Come on, Pat, get your shit together. Wait. Did he just target an Earth? Chat. Chat. He just targeted an Earth. Bro, if you just targeted the monster with more stats, you would be alive right now. You would be alive right now if you just picked the monster with 2,800 attack. <laughs> you didn't have to make a sync play, you just had to summon the bigger attack monster. Oh shit. He gets to summon something. Again? My man gets to summon again? I'm just gonna do this real quick and say Earth. Earth, please leave my Fenrir alone. Okay, does that have... It has more attack! He he was actually out to get me the whole time, and he wins. I don't actually know how we beat this. When your opponent activates a monster effect, make this card gain attack equal to the opponent's monster. Oh! So we just... We bait the talents and we win. Okay, I use the effect. He has no reason to not chain. Do it. Oh! He's smart! He's smart! What? That's not allowed. Surely that's banned. We're not allowing that here. We gotta keep the talents, because talents are just game at any point. It's easy. It's easy. Oh, he's letting it through? He's letting it slide? Chaos Angel GG. This can't make Chaos Angel, but it can make anything else in the game. Surely there's enough spells in the grave. Oh lordy, there sure is. I should probably read the rest of this card. I don't think it does anything. Why not add souls? I mean, that wasn't Chaos Angel. I, I, I don't think that was even close. We just win either way, you know? Souls into Chaos Angel. Mud Dragon's a level 4, is it not? Are y'all coping? Mud Dragon is a level 4, sir. Everything does lead to the same victory screen. He gains attack! Oh no! Give me the card. Thank. Thank for the victory royale. I love the tactics, it's just like a win card sometimes. Sometimes it's a brick, and sometimes it just wins you the game. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, make Chaos Angel. DMG? Oh! Yo, I forget that souls can even summon her. But you're right. You do be spitting facts. Go up to go second. No, my B, you're right, you're right. We could, we could be summoning the Chaos Angel, though. 
probably would have been the better play because it's just a 3,500 attack beast. And it banishes as well. Definitely something to keep in mind. Mud Dragon's a 4, TMG's a 6. Probably won't ever come up again, but... Gotta keep it in the back of the mind. Oh, this hand is really rough. Maybe Illusion of Chaos. I also have a love-hate relationship with DMG, so it's part of the reason I just blanked. Okay, our hand needed to be fixed by Max C. It's not getting that treatment. Can <laughs> we draw another Do we evenly match the one card and then Fen- No, no. We just Fenrir and we get the same trade. We get the same value trade if you just summon Fenrir and banish one of them. So we'll do that. What is up, Grizz? Grizz Gaming. Oh, you make Mud Light before you summon it. Oh my god. Mud Dragon is actually busted making Chaos Angel. Big brain. Henry's face-up cards? Oh, well, it, it got the same trade anyway. <laughs> we got the trade anyway, folks. I love that we just have an obelisk chilling in our hand in diamond. In diamond with an obelisk in my hand. You know, you know we're hard out here. That's how it be in these streets. You go battle phase. Most valuable DMG. Pank. Pank Gaming. Um, I guess we set the Super Poly? Fenrir is still better. Fenrir is still better. But uh, hey, when when Fenrir goes to one, yeah, maybe we'll, maybe we'll slip in a Sneaky Pank. Or maybe we'll play a Unicorn. I'm kind of down to play a Unicorn. That card's kind of bossing too. Rated Despia and Vanquish all top decks right now. Yeah, straight up. Straight up. Shadow Spectre. Clicked on stream, there are no DM cards. Listen, there's an obelisk. That's close enough. You, you get what you deserve, right? <laughs> Look. You can't play all DM cards in a DM deck, let me tell you that. That's not a DM card. And we've got the obelisk in our hand. Maxi! Me Maxi! Everyone laugh! <laughs> Maxi! Oh, buddy. Let, let's show him. We should- let's show him. Let's normal Maxi. Let's normal Maxi. I don't know what he's playing. Let's normal Maxi. Let's hit him with it. Draw a lock! <laughs> We're just deck thinning his hand. We're deck thinning his hand. Oh my god. Normal summon Maxi. This is the game state we're at. Yo, we can super poly and damage step for game? We can super poly for game here? Is Mud Dragon actually game? I don't think it is. No, Mud Dragon's not game here. Big sad. Big sad. Maxi Droll? Yeah, wait, wait. Why did he Maxi Droll? <laughs> what was that game? Like, I'll take the win any day of the week. There's no that was our rank up. Yeah, this is in Diamond. Look, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. Give him the benefit of the doubt. What is he playing? Is it Plasma Turbo? Rainbow Neos Turbo? Elemental Hero Engine Dot Deck? Three Droll Maxi into Droll, by the way. That was a true combo. Man's playing Mega Morph? Oh, because this card's not banned yet. Can we ban this freaking card? Oh, so just Warrior Dot Deck into Rainbow Neos Pass? Like... I don't know, there's clearly a combo there. We've all made misplays, absolutely, absolutely. It's it's like, yeah, it's warrior.deck though, you know, is old things. When Jaden drop and droll on Chaz, true. He is playing something cool, we, we can say that. Oh, our opponent's on lose and they lose a rank, that's sad. We're gonna try and make them lose that rank. Morning, Sean, how you doing? Best way to start the morning? It's 5 a.m., man's getting up early for work, what a king. What a king.
Yo, Thunder Dragons. No, we aren't ashing that. You you add your two vanillas, bro. Ah. The clown is here. You love to see it. Mo Yi. The only time you can ash this deck is like the draw one on Mo Yi. That's probably it. <laughs> Oh man. The pile. There's no way we ash here, but watch me not ash. Emergence best ash. Yeah, that's true. But like, they normally lead with it. If he gets long one, it's GG. Oh, well. The, what? The normal combo adds long one. Oh, genius maker, you're right. If I face Brandon, I will go insane again. Well, we won't be ashing, let me tell you that. Probably should have ashed the draw one. Once again, reminding chat of how unnecessary the burn effect damage is on this card. Oh, no set, no blackout. Interesting. Ash eats Baron Negate? Well, if there was something to Ash, which there now is! We can now eat the Baron Negate. Thank you. Had Resonator Structure deck. You picked up three. Very nice. Very nice. Long one just shouldn't burn. Like, it, I don't know why they tied that to Sword Soul. They're like a bunch of cool samurai who set up a bunch of like cool boards. And they're like, we're going to make the synchro and long one burn. Right? Enough of burn. No more burn Konami. Change the time rules if you're going to have these stupid burn decks meta. Oh, okay. He's tagging out as well. Into long one again. Alright. I'm banning the burn. He burns because he's a fire attribute. <laughs> Yo, when invoked Purgatrio, burn on my opponent for game. This hand kind of sucks. It's one monster effect negate. And I have exactly one monster effect to use. That's rough. Is it negate and destroy? I think it's just negate. Not that it matters. I don't have any extenders. Circle hits. I believe in y'all. Circle hits. Circle doesn't miss. At least we don't play no his max C. Chat, it missed. God damn it. In a Dark Magician deck, it missed. It's crazy. Do we even normal the rod? Like, I guess. Make him banish a Mo Yi. Yeah, long one's OP and now it goes to three. I, I That was a hit I didn't get. Well, a reverse hit. Oh, it's tier as well. Well, this is about to be really bad. This is about to be even worse. Is Protoss banned? No, Protoss is at three. Because apparently that's fine too. Evenly matched looking better and better here, and yet my field is filled with crap. I don't have a spell trap to use, so I'm just gonna pass. Oh, I should have gone battle phase. Shit. I didn't realize she was so weak. God damn. Well, hopefully he wipes our board, doesn't kill us in the battle phase, and we can evenly, but probably not. Look, look at our hand. Two vanillas. Two vanillas. What is up, B-Money? Good job, everybody, for ignoring chat, by the way. You're all kinging right now. No one's responding to anything. <laughs> it's really funny. Protoss is the most deaf. Yeah, Protoss is the a broken card. The buffing Sword Soul, like, is unnecessary. This man is cooking. This is the kitchen sink deck. This is the every card that's like every deck that has something on the ban list in one deck. Fill the gaps from the ban list with other good decks. Yo, the Chaos Angel. It was brought out with a light in the dark. No way. Light in the dark. Kind of nuts. Why do we keep going against the weirdest deck? I don't know. 
I don't know. Oh my god, the thing happened. The thing happened. We can evenly matched. He didn't kill us. We can evenly matched. No, we wait. I think we wait. No, I'm going to do it. I don't care. Yeah, we're chilling. We don't have an to Chaos Angel. It's unaffected by monster effects. And it can't be destroyed by battle. Okay. Wow. We drew a card. This doesn't do anything. This doesn't do anything. Do we have a soul server in the grave? We have nothing. There's nothing in the grave. This is really bad. I haven't tried Runic DM, to be honest. Seems alright, though. This is a real DM day. Yeah, who was complaining? Who was it who's like, Shadow Spectre, you came in and you're like, I haven't seen any DM cards yet. Well, this is what happens when we see them. <laughs> DM when Fenrir isn't around. True. Yo, what? Summon the vanilla? I mean, it goes into Colossus. It goes into Colossus. Ah, oh, B money. Everyone was doing a good job at ignoring them till you mentioned it. But yes, it is true. All right, we're dead. We're copping the L. <laughs> oh man. Oh well, that was their rank down duel, so we had to give it to them. Hopefully we see less DM cards this time. Yeah, one more card on the field more than me. Being a 3,500 attack unaffected beast. Did I take first? No, I took second, good. Super poly, true name, but no way to stack. So I guess... Probably still discard DM though. Hopefully we see less DM cards. <laughs> what a cursed sentence. Unfortunately, that's how it is. How did this happen? Why didn't I bestial that? That seemed like a good time to bestial. True name, frame one, summon god. True name without stacking, I'm guessing, is what you're saying? Okay. Man's actually playing, um, what are these called? Od Od Ododic? Special of a banish it when it leaves the field. I... Is it dark? No, it's water. Well, I nearly tried to bestial it, so I'm glad I didn't. Rank four? Baguska pass? Massive plays from the snake deck. That's not Baguska Pass. Feral Limp. Adding a reptile from deck to hand. Big. Big if factual. What does that one do? And this from M1 Light from deck to hand. If it's normal special, you can add one. Okay. What does this one do? Give me more monster special, this one. Then your opponent. Can I chain? What? Can I chain, please? No? Okay. Yeah. I wasn't able to chain. Maybe one monster cost. But it didn't let me. Any opponent can special monster from their grave. I don't have one. God special target a level 4 engraved special, but banish it when it leaves the field. Which one is he targeting? Oh, well, it's a dock. Let's say no. No monsters on field. Cracked. Cracked. I hope he doesn't have TTT, because if he does, he's about to pop off. Oh yeah, you can't be still if your opponent has no monsters. Yes, thank you. I'm very silly. The Gursu Normal Summon. He's playing Orcus. I forgot Harp is legal. Normal Summon Harp. Oh no, I needed to save this for the Harp. God damn. He debated me. Well, Super Poly is going to be very, very good in this matchup. That's all I can say. It was all bait. It was all bait. 
Oh, imagine faking a YCS win, by the way. That's all I'm going to say about chat right now. <sighs> there it is, the Galatea. Gonna go on a ding and send, mayhaps. Oh, we're gonna set Crescendo as well. Mill Wand. Banish Wand. Target. Oh, Nightmare. I'm a Nightmare. You're not sold on true name? Yeah, look, it's a bit of a meme. But we're here in diamond with it, so it's cool. So we're gonna super poly the ding, but if they set up skeleton and crescendo. Oh, is he going for crescendo or the field spell? He's returned Rob Wand. I think he'll go for Babble. Oh, well, Babble if he gets to Skeleton. Otherwise, Crescendo. Okay, going for Babble. Do we need to. We need to get rid of Skeleton. Maybe the monster special this. And then what? Brony can have a monster from the grave today. Oh, yeah. All these effects that won't work going first. Hmm. Okay, ding. Ding send. <laughs> That's a good one, Chris. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, okay, he's he's acting like he didn't do it now. Good one. Good one. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Man wants the evidence pulled up. We can pull it up. We can pull the evidence up. We can, we can go find it, making us do our homework live on stream, because you're an incel. Um, where's the skeleton? Skeleton's not in there, I guess, because he's going to nightmare. Oh, he's got harp. Everything's in there. We set up, so he goes harp. I'm going to deck to grave, so... Nightmare gets it there, but he could also summon it off Harp. Special Orcus from deck. That doesn't quite get him there though, so I think I just wait for the skeleton to hit the grave. We draw a true name. God damn. That's real bad. That's real bad. There's no way that's Crescendo. Like it could be, but I'm hoping it's not. I guess we're just super poly though, because then he can't nightmare. Oh shit, I probably should have discarded DM. Oh well. Seems like a solid start. Pretty sure we lock him out of everything here. The Secret Wars feature match. Oh, I wish I could have the copium and hopium that he's huffing. Besides whatever other products he's huffing, you know what I mean? We'll probably summon a DM here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, he used true name? I don't know if I've got the balls. True name or bust? Everyone wants true name. Oh man, I wouldn't even know what to call. What do we play at three in this list? Soul Servant? I guess be the best call. I did make a video on it, didn't I? I think. Probably. How close can we get to lethal? This is just short. Just short. Plus, I want to save her for when he does some orchestra. I guess he can't now. He can harp, but that's about it. Yeah, it only targets for cost. Mm. If true name hits, we win. All right, fuck it, true name. You convinced me. Shh. 
shit. We weren't good enough. We weren't cracked enough. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Oh yeah, he can target our monsters, huh? I forgot that he can just target our monsters. I'm kind of stupid. Rot roll. This man be sending. Because you can't be steal when they don't have anything. So I probably should have... Hmm... I don't know what to do. I don't know what I should have done first. I think we, yeah, I think we just lose now. Big sad. We get rid of half, but he can just chain it, is the problem. Babble means he can just chain it. <sighs> That makes it a bit hard. I guess I'll wait for him to play on his turn. Wait, doesn't this banish for cost? Yeah, ban it banishes for cost, so there's no way to play around it. Like, I either target it and he just chains, or... No, there's no real way. Hmm. It'd be cool if we got if our field spell did something like that too. Imagine if a lot of DM cards became quick effects. It would fix a couple of things, I think. I think. What? Huh? What? Chat? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh. Okay. Like we'll take it. We'll take it. I don't know why he FF. Wizards don't have good spells. Apparently, that's the motto of the DM deck. I am the better player, it's true. It's true, I, I flexed- I, maybe the true name. He maybe just, like, went and remembered the true name play and went, you know what? Big nuts. Hit the FF. His cat was on fire, he had to go. God damn. Me getting through diamond is just people bricking and, like, surrendering for no reason. Welcome to the Diamond Dock, well, the, the Master Tier deck profile. Uh, you won't have success with this because you're not streaming. Uh oh. It's the big bad. It's the big bad. Should have called wrong on purpose with the dark on top so you could beast deal. That would have been big. I mean, I could have beast deal at any point, I just didn't want to because I was like, I'll use it in response, but they banish for cost a lot of the time. Reversing the big bad. They got rid of a warning. They've got their little protecty guy. You know what? If we can find the evenly. If we can find the evenly. Find the, oh. Oh. Vanity's Fiend. Van, M Majesty's Fiend. Sorry. Holy crap. No monster effects. Oh, wait. Fenrir is 24. Also isn't- wait, no, we just out it with Circle. I mean, there's two back row here to deal with, but we just out it with Circle. Oh. Should we chain? We should chain. We should chain. <laughs> He's pressed F to opt out. Not wrong. Not wrong. Banish field spell and win? Yeah, I guess. I guess that is true. Wait, no, we don't need... What, what are we doing? We're stacking uh, this card. Wow, that's a lot of cards that aren't very useful in this matchup. I'm going to summon this card first. Oh, I can't activate monster effects. So I can't... I can't summon DM of Magician Souls. Why haven't I blocked him? That's a good question. I don't know. Kind of interesting. Got to keep around your haters, I think. <laughs> Makes life more fun. Normal the rod. Can't use the effect. Okay, go to battle. Oh wait, 
It makes Chaos Angel, doesn't it? Synchro Zone. No, we should have made Chaos Angel. It's a Synchro. He's gonna shit his pants when we flip when we when we make Chaos Angel. Oh, we can't. Why can't we make Chaos Angel? Oh, hey, this is not a dark. I'm very silly. You are not a dark, Mr. Fenrir. The Synchro Zone stun. So we can't declare attacks except with Synchro monsters. So that's why they hit this card. If a non-tuner synchro is sent to the ground, okay, that effect probably doesn't matter. But he's just doing it for the we can't declare attacks with synchros. I think we can get out. I don't think we FF. You know what, chat? I, I know it's dumb. I know it's cringe, but I think we can win this. I really do. I really do think we can win this. It might take a little bit of patience from all my gamers, but we can do it. I believe. Yeah, I need a dark and a line. Yeah, so I couldn't have made Chaos Angel. Wow, he set the one of Port of Duality. Well, it's not a one of, but you know what I mean. Why did he set that? Why didn't he just use it last game? Last turn. Um, going for Runic Destruction. Target a Spell Trap. Destroy it. Okay. Next turn we Circle Banish. Well, the Circle's going to be gone. Bit of a problem. Hmm. Do we lose? Do we like lose lose? I don't know if we lose lose. We cannot let them win. The Hydro Duster and they protect the fusion monster. I'm gonna spell trap, destroy it. Oh no, please. Please. Is he actually gonna target the soul servant? Is he this silly? Surely not. Surely he goes for the circle. Surely he goes for. The Salvation. This is the best card on the DM field. Look at all the text. The field spell. Look at all the text. It's Salvation's the best one to go for, but he, he won't. He won't go for it, right? Right? He's making his choice out of these four amazing spells. Maybe he's reading. Damn it. Damn it. Dragon Knight, where you wet? What do we lose? We lost a Fenrir. Stack in DM. We lost Fenrir, Thrust. Oh, Thrust. Yeah, I, I mean, fine. I'm not sure why he didn't Fountain last turn, also. No, I don't want to flip that yet. We just need him to not draw the Spell Trap Popper again, kind of thing. We still have Chaos Angel? We sure do. We sure as heck do, but monster effects cannot be activated. But we can swing it in uh, under Synchro Zone, which is amazing. Incredible, in fact. Except if he pops. Um, Eternal Soul. If he pops Eternal Soul, this whole game goes to shit. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah, I'm unaffected by Synchro Zone. Oh. Yeah. Well, it says neither player. Neither player. It affects the player. Don't hate the player, hate the game. <laughs> I'm gonna hate the player in this case, alright? Christmas is this guy's name. Yes, very, very Christmas, isn't he? Very Christmas in character. Artemis for damage. Artemis for damage. Okay. Okay. The one synchro we play. Yes! Wait. Oh yeah, we still can't attack because the synchro is in. But, um, uh, monsters have effects now? We can use monster effects now. Great. We can pop his whole board? Is that what we're saying? I think we can pop the whole board. Runic players smell bad? I don't doubt it for a second. I hope we can just destroy the entire board here. Let's get a draw. 
Okay, that could actually be really good on Fountain. He doesn't have a dock in his grave. But that's okay. I think we have to get rid of Fenrir, simply because of Synchro Zone. I hope we're back. He's not FFing though, which makes me a bit worried. If we get nibbed here, we just lose also. I don't know if you'd play Nibiru in that. Though. This gives us three pops. I'm Doke. I'm Ducky. Wait, we win. We just win. He's got no response. That's just game. The fountain's gone. The synchro zone is gone. Yes! I knew we could do it. I just had this feeling. Had this feeling. Whew! No doubt that that was an annoying game. You see how much I was focusing? I was like, I'm not letting this guy win. He must have drawn really bad. <clears throat> oh no. This is quite a bad hand. No max C to fix it either. <clears throat> Man, even if we get a good Ash here, we don't have a lot to do. Speaking of good Ash. Have you ever seen Fenrir summon in defense? I should probably be summoning it in defense. I have not been. I've been ballsing it out turn one in attack mode. Whew, my God. Special Magna Heart Tribute DMG, shake my hand. Damn, that's all it takes to beat you? That's very kind of you. Oh, Tiro meant cash Tiro. Hmm. Access code magician. <laughs> yeah, look, sometimes you gotta play cards that aren't DM. Planet Pathfinder. Well, they do have a good field spell. They probably want it. I think this is probably a good card to Ash. Because, like, both field spells, the tier and the cash field spell, are cracked. Okay, it's pure cash. Ben Rear, the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. Honestly, yes. That's really good. Shang Pass is really good for us. He could have hawked. That means Thrust is live. Thrust is live, which means... I don't think I max scene now. I only get one, one draw, right? Is there any cash that summons another cash? It's just Fenrir. You just summon Fenrir here for sure. Yeah, it's Fenrir for sure. Is tier cash for Mills? True. Why? Why hasn't he used it? What's its condition again? In special from hand, 
Oh man, maybe I should have max aid. Shit, it's quick effect to summon. Hmm. What, we just thrust, tactics, take the Fenrir, use the effect to search. That's all we can do. There's nothing we can do. I should have max seed purely because I have nothing to do. We should we gotta stop playing true name. It's such a meme. Oh, it wasn't main fate. Oh shit, I just added tactics for no reason. Shit. Uh, whoops. Not that there was anything better to add. Alright, what are we guessing's on top? What are we guessing is on top? It's gotta be a DM card. I'm gonna say souls. Souls, baby. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, who said Soul Servant? No, it was Soul Servant. We guessed that last game. Ah, oh, it was Soul Servant, man. It feels bad. It feels bad, man. God damn it. Oh, uh, we actually trolled. We don't have anything to do. Alright, well, we just die. That sucks. Simply stack the deck. Honestly, yeah. I guess we max E now. Maxi Resolve? Yo, Maxi Resolve drawing skill drain. Very useful. So he's pretty close to lethal, he just needs one more summon. Wait, what? Take out Obelisk, add one move. Look, that would that would make sense. That would be intelligent. Is it when a cash monster attacks? When this card declares an attack. No, so he'll just banish this as soon as I do it. So I may as well do it on my turn. Okay, so I have to banish his stupid light guy. Take out the obelisk. Look, it's it's fair. It's Joe Bova. Well, he doesn't have a way to kill me. He, he somehow, like this thing being zero attack actually just saved my life. If it just had 800, the game would be over. What a good card. Also, he didn't zone lock us. Oh, because he didn't banish, he hasn't banished anything face down yet. Get true name out ASAP. Alright, alright, alright. After this, we'll plot in one Nibiru, but then we need to find some more good cards. So we have to do it on our turn because it will trigger a response. I, I need to do it now. Wow, we can't even skill drain now, hey. He's gonna summon. No flare metal. Yo, if he made flare metal, we were straight up dead, hey. Ogre? Shrekman. Alright, we're in main phase. We need him to use an effect so we can talent. Which he will. He'll banish this when we summon it. I'm turn player though, so I get prior. Then rear effect. Okay, look, banishing extra deck locking zone as well. Oh, okay, we're losing a couple of zones here. 
They're losing a couple of zones. My lord, do the Fenrir cards just pop off together, huh? I wish DM cards popped off like this. What's he banishing? Chilling, waiting for our turn so we can stop crying. What do we even do with tactics now, though? Like, ripping hand is irrelevant, taking field is probably irrelevant, drawing two, like, they all seem kind of irrelevant right now. I guess draw two. <sighs> oh, I don't know. Is most worried about Anima. Do we lose three zones here or just one? We do lose three. Okay. Oh, and then when I use a spell, he banishes three again, and then we lock a fourth. But we just lose. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I really, like, I love Illusion of Chaos, but I've really come to terms with the fact that it should have been a spell. Because I'm like, oh, but then Circle would have grabbed it. Like, oh, man. It would have been so much better, to be honest. I think I have to take control of this. Because then we summon Fenrir on his turn. I think we actually take it. I'm gonna take it. It's so stupid, but I'm gonna take it. <laughs> oh, it goes back? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! It does go back. We're gonna- we're gonna summon DMG, but we just lost our soul service. Oh, well. We're, we're very dead. We're very dead, chat. Wow, we have no DM, but we have all the other pieces. This is the other thing. Eternal Soul and Circle not being able to summon DM or like pop off with DM, uh, DMG is silly too, because they want us to play her, but then she doesn't do anything. It's very grim. Very grim. Like, what does she actually do in this deck? She doesn't trigger Circle. You trigger Salvation, but only if DM's around, and he's not. It should summon from deck. Salvation should have been from deck. Skill Drain would do it if we could activate it. We don't have the LP. We can't pay the LP. We're gonna end our life. Why do they make DMG like so... Oh, we at? Were we at five? I don't remember what we're at. Shit. I need to play my own stream. What were we at? Were we at 5-2? We were at 5-2, right? So we should be at 5-3. Accidentally put it on 5-4. Should be 5-3. Mmm. Crash, go out like a man. I did. I absolutely did. Um... See, I used to think we needed a search spell, Illusion of Chaos became that, but it really should have just been a spell still, hey. It really should have, like a spell should do exactly what IOC does. Like we never summon IOC, it just should have been a spell. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, Rod, honestly, Rod needs to add two. There's no easier way to say it, Rod needs to add two. Well, Max C probably fixes this hand. Yeah, we can't search Illusion of Chaos off Rodwell. Yeah, we can't, but we can grab Soul Servant, which chained with Upstart or Chicken Game. Gets Illusion of Chaos, which is nice. Ah, oh, a brilliant start to this game. A fantastic beginning. Oh, we were already playing Nibiru, by the way, chat. Just one, though. 
Oh, card of demise, piss off. There's no way. We do need a search spell. A search should not be a two card combo. I agree. I agree. Oh, and he drew into Morganite. Maxi carries. <laughs> Maxi carries. Remember we beat this last time because they decked out? So we might just set Maxi. Well, he's going to grab um, Thunder King, right? Yeah. That's annoying. Wait, he just normal twice. Is that what Morgan does? You can conduct two normal summons per turn. Yep. It, it does. Turns out reading cards is hard for me. Independent would special summon exactly one monster. Negate the summon. Either player can add cards from their deck to their hands except by drawing them. Well, we can't really go for deck out either because... 1900 attack, we could have set the Ash Blossom, but this thing's too big. So what, we need to get to like a Tribute Summon? We need to like Tribute Summon DMG? You've been messing around with three Bond to Inheritance? Oh, I think Inheritance is only a one of though. Okay, Dark Bribe. Giving us a draw though, kind of what, Circle wouldn't have given us a draw, but this will. Okay, good card. But we can't summon. We, can, we can't special summon. You can send this face up card and negate it if you do destroy it. Do you think he'll do it? There's no reason to put DM in the grave for me right now, though. Yeah, well, we can set. If we had Robe, if we were playing Robe, we would actually be chilling. Okay, any card going to the grave is now getting banished as well. We're not ashing that. You do not ash that card. We need a way to out the Thunder King. Yeah, if you want to play Inheritance, you play 3 up, start 3 chicken game. I agree. I agree. Um, you can also play uh, more prep, and you can also play Spellbook Engine. I, I don't really like it, but you can. Okay, that's another... Oh, that's um, Inspector Border. So now 2k is the threshold. 2k is the threshold. What's Nibiru's defense? 600. DMG's defense? 1700. We need DM. Skill Drain without this? That's true. Skill Drain does out this. No, if I... I don't have to out the dinosaur. If I just out this, I can just stall him out for, for game. Should have sent DM to Grave so you don't draw it? Yeah, I guess. I kind of want to draw it. <laughs> like, I do and I don't. I don't know, have a way to summon it, but I need to. Yeah, it's true. I probably should have done that, though. What do you get with Inheritance? Whatever piece you're missing. You just grab the missing triangle piece normally. Oh, I think we're just dead now. Robe would have gone off hard here. Magician's robe would have clapped some fucking cheeks. Just putting that out there. Set robe here. Imagine. Imagine the one robe. Just setting the robe and be like, GG. Man, I wish. The one in thousand games. We could put it in. Oh, Regeki. No, look, he had the out. He had the out. Is that is that lethal? It's close. Pretty close. Or oh, maybe this is another dino. Oh no, it's Morphing Jar. Both plays discard and then draw five. Thank you. Why would you play this? Alright, we can at least attack into Fossil Dino now. Imagine playing the evenly matched, but I said secrets chat. Why did I set secrets? Why did I set secrets? Why did I set secrets? <laughs> Why did I do that? Oh, we actually lose because I set secrets We actually lose because I set secrets. So bad so bad of me. 
My god, that's obnoxious. We can't special, bro. We go into battle. On pulse? No! Just take away my secrets, please! Oh, man. Well, we die. Because I said secrets. Once again, we lose because I freaking said secrets. He probably does have judgment set, you're right. Oh yeah, I have to set evenly, but I just lose. He just kills me before I can use it. This shit is so disgusting, hey. Damn. The duster. Wait, so we should have kept it in hand. Nah, it's fine. It doesn't matter anyway, he kills us right here. What a way to lose. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna have to ban time tiering as well. Well, they hit a bunch of stun cards, but like, once again, they didn't hit the problems. If we didn't set the secrets, we could have released evenly. There probably was a judgment there, though. That's very valid. Um, let's just go look at the virgin list, shall we? <sighs> wow. Yep. Ugh. Disgusting. Um, I don't think we are on Secret Village, because we're going second. Alright, we taking out True Name and Obelisk? Or what? We're not running Duster, no. If that, if that was a game to tell us to play Duster... Let's play Duster. <laughs> I'm down to play it instead of Obelisk, that's for sure. Um, what is this? And Dismantled. On dismantle, damn. A lot of cards here I would dismantle if I could. Lightning storm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, one dust and one storm for thrust. I'm not I'm not opposed to this. Considering what we just lost to. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Duster is you have to have no face up cards. Yeah, I guess we could achieve that, I suppose. We're only two ash, yeah, we could bump up. We could, we could go to three. Now we just need one card to fill. Hmm, lose a rod? I'm happy with three rod. I know rod can probably go to two most of the time. We could play another Nibiru, we've got one. I know one seems cope, but like once you find the one off your maxi, you're like, yeah, baby. No call by will not really needed going second. I feel like we can play like hand traps and going second stuff, but we can't really play like going first protection too. I don't know. One robe. One robe. Funny butt. Um second evenly. Yeah, it's mainly there because like Thrust can grab it. One tank. Evenly is good in the format though, that's true. Maybe a second evenly. Yeah, Fenrir and stuff does conflict with evenly and Lightning Storm, but it's like... You just do the conflicting cards first. Obviously if you draw into them it sucks, but like... Eh? Roby Jacobs. Oh my god, that's funny. I don't want to play my hard. I think two evenly is probably the best call. I think two evenly is the best call. Could even be get rid of lightnings, don't play a third evenly. Hmm. Rope carries. Now let's do it. Let's do it. I think they are good changes. 
We lost the obelisk though. That's sad. Sad times when we lose our obelisk extender. Sphere mode? Well, sphere mode... Sphere mode is good, but... It can do nothing against stun, right? Except in that case where he extended to three monsters. Kurikara. Actually, I really like Kurikara. I don't think I have any, though. Wow, we got some going second stuff, huh? My heart's good for Chaos Angel. Yeah, but like, it does nothing in the hand, sadly. And that's what I'm looking at. Yeah, good going second hand. Crazy. Crazy. Kurikara outs most cash boards. Ooh. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I play Kurikara. I need to craft some, but I'm down. What is up, Weebles Venom? Oh, you're two minutes behind me? That's alright. Yo, the turtle? I saw the turtle. Oh yeah, because they add their field spell off the freaking rainbow card. What about Illusion of Chaos? Yeah, he's, he's in the list. He's in there. Look, it's the good field spell. Is Kurikara the... Oops. Kurikara the red, the fire hand trap? That's what I'm thinking of. That's the card, right? Yeah, it is. Can it be normal or special? Must be special by tripping all face-ups that activate their effects this turn. In your opponent's monster zone. Yeah, that would be really good against cash, huh? In 1500 for each monster tributed. That's quick effect? No, it's not quick effect, it's going second. During end phase, target a monster in your opponent's grave special to your field. Wow, grabbing like ripping Fenrir. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of big. It's kind of nice. Do I have runic stuff? No. I'm kind of out of gems right now. Oh, crystals? Gems? Yeah, whatever they're called. Crafting materials. I don't have any. Look, I would play Runic DM because I'm pretty sure it would be good, but um, they have crime. They're committing Kurt Ryan. Two elements grief. Two elements heart beat. With two elements death. Two elements scream. Two element go to the ban list. Where is Mr. Crime? Put it in your hand. What the hell is this? Oh, they got the big collider. Pops himself. Summons himself back. And sends a tear card. Use Van Rear to grab your Van Rear. Big. Big strats with Kurikara. Kaleido make Kaleido? Big? Idol summon, rank seven. Flare metal pass. Oh no, they probably make uh, the big guy, right? The big 3k defense man. Oh, okay, they make IP. Pardon me. I guess that works too. Oh, they had time thief? I didn't, I didn't even realize. He gets one of our cards. He got one of our even leads. Yikes. Oh, we can thrust. 
We can just thrust and get evenly. Is there any counterplay to evenly here? Is it just get evenly and pop off? I'm pretty sure it's just go get evenly. Rod Ash Failure into Kurikara Break Bots. That's kind of good. Bait with Thrust. What's his negate here? He's gonna crime, so bait first. What is, where is crime again? Cash Tira Crime? No, it's it's the other one. Tier Element Crime. When a spell trap and monster effects activate, when you control a T and negate the activation, you do shuffle into the deck and send monsters from your hand field to grave. So why don't I dust it a bait? I think it's dusted a bait. And then, isn't it just thrust? Thrust into evenly after that? I'm glad we have two evenly right about now when that got yoinked. I think it's dusted, thrust, evenly. Another reason I dislike this DM art is it's the rod art as well. For some reason, they're so lazy. <laughs> Look at this stupid shit. It's the same! Okay, crime. They out here committing crimes, no dusters. Gonna fusion summon. As long as it doesn't have a negate. It cowers. Yeah, they need an alternate rod art. Or just to never bring that DM art up again. Okay. Thrust. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like we just evenly now. No. Thrust. <laughs> no. Come on, man! Come on, be money. If he keeps one monster too, we get to summon Fenrir. Okay, makes the link five. Does Fenrir out this? Fenrir doesn't target, does it? It doesn't. No, Fenrir does target, so Fenrir out that. Continue main phase. So we just win? I think. Pretty sure we don't use evenly now. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure after that we don't need to use the evenly. Do we have Master of Chaos OTK here? Like, we kind of have OTK here, I think. Does this do anything on field? I'm gonna try to kill him. Go away. Okay. We don't have circle though. I don't know how to get rid of this, it's kind of big.
Gromada. Oh, no, not that one. Then it should all from deck to grave. He got that Nadir uh, Schism Engine or what? Beast, so he's drawing one. Okay. Okay, Illusion of Chaos. Getting this. I think we put the evenly back. Evenly of the Fenrir. I put the Fenrir back. Probably should put the evenly back, but that's alright. Control the tier target face up, change your face down defense position. Well, that's fucking cringe. We lose a lot of damage from that. And send one, so he gets to fuse again. Nice. That's a bit cringe. You don't like the slate, but you like the Master Ball DMR. No. The pose is pretty good. It's okay, but the potato really ruins it for me. Oh, uh, we can't even secrets now. That's so wank. Oh no, we bait it with this. We bait it with this. We gotta bait it. What? What? When your opponent activates a card effect that includes an effect of special summon. Huh? Huh? Why did he not do anything? He did not do anything. Weird. How many spells are in the grave? Lots. How many darks are in the grave? Lots. Do we Chaos Angel? He didn't take the bait? I think we just dark. We just dark? You all saying Chaos Angel? Yeah, actually, that works. Safer. Let's go dark. Ah, oh, Chaos Angel, sorry. Yeah, he can negate dark stuff, you're right. Good luck negating this, you filthy casual. Alright, I think we win. Oh no we don't, we don't have enough damage. Wank. Kill this, and then we hit for... Three and we hit for what, five? Nothing good to summon. This kinda sucks. This kinda ass. Icarus can summon Illusion of Chaos? Is that worth it? Maybe it is here, actually. It might be worth it here. Maybe summoning Illusion of Chaos here is straight up the play. I don't think I have ever done it, but it gives us a negate, so let's do it. Fuck it. Let's do it. Like, I would have liked to have summoned in battle phase and done damage, but like, that damage wasn't lethal. So we're better off putting it in defense mode. The flip on the Fenrir is actually that frustrating too. Why not in battle phase? Because I want to put it in defense. There's only 2100, and every, every fucking cash card beats over it. Oh well, it's just fucking game anyway. It's fucking game anyway, it doesn't fucking matter. See, that's why when people are like, lol, just play Super Poly, like, then DM's meta. No, because meta can play it. They can play anything and do it better than us. He got me there. The flip on the Fenrir is pissing me off, man. Let me bring it back. Yeah, we evenly. No, he's playing quite a big Shadol engine, huh? 60 card? No. Anaconda? Dungarees! What the fuck? I haven't seen Dungarees outside of like Exodia combos and OTKs. What's he going for? Keep next main phase one special one monster from grave. Okay. 
Would have been better to set secret to summon it on their turn. What? How does it change anything? That doesn't change anything. If I set secret summon on their turn, they're still gonna super poly me. So he has no main phase one next turn. Is he just killing us though? So he killed itself, summon it back in attack mode. Surely we're dead here. They have had the out to everything, it's true. Maybe it was worth it to still evenly. Maybe that's where I went wrong, but I really thought we could game them. I really thought we'd be able to. Apparently not though, huh? Oh, that's just game. We- <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, I fucking hate Cash and I fucking hate Tear. And you put them together and it's the worst cancer on the earth. Well, that makes us 5 and 5. Grim and Grim. I think we all rank down on this one. If we lose. Nope. Okay. Fuck, I don't want first. Except if it's stunned. <laughs> There's no way to know. Okay. I don't have any curries. I, I don't have any gems or curries, but we were just talking about her. She seems good. She seems good. Oh god, oh god, it's gonna be stun, isn't it? Or maybe not, they probably play X-Trap instead of this. It's bird, oh, it's black wings. Okay. Well, cracked black wing players are scary, but the good thing is they're all dark, but a lot of the big ones are unaffected, so... He's gonna have the ash out of all of those. What was he looking for then? Not a starter. He bricked, and he added the ash. Okay. Interesting. Is that one pass from Black Wings? You know what? Our hand doesn't do anything. Our hand is the DM triangle, however. But we can't get that draw of Soul Serve in turn one. No, sir. Alright, ash on circle. We don't have the DM triangle. Full Black Wing combo, by the way. Two rogue players meeting in the diamond rank ladder, be like... Guess we just set a bunch of cards and we say go. The one time Ash on circles good? Not wrong, not wrong. Same with Ash on Illusion to Chaos. Normally it's garbage and then every now and then you get like Ash on prep and it's just like perfect and you're like, God damn it. Oh, opponent still bricked. Yeah, Circle would have missed, but we had the Soul Servant, you see. Fixed everything. Look at this. Yeah, he also bricked. We're chilling. 11 duels in, no branded. Actually, actually crazy. Crazy. I kind of forgot. But yeah, no branded. Look at this. Put this back. Summon this, we get rid of the one back row. And it's Waking the Dragon, here we go. We both bricked up. Two rogue decks in diamond, both bricked. Max C? Uh, um, here's what we do. Here's what we do. Why couldn't we chain? Oh, he has no monsters. Can we just say no? We just say no. You say no to summon DM. Based? Based? Let's see it. <laughs> oh my god, let's get rid of this. Nice hand, buddy. <laughs> Why not grab Rod? Well, because 
I figured I'd rather have DM and circle banish this brick card. But you know what? We're not gonna give him any draws. We're just gonna say go. We can summon the beast deals later. I thought about adding Rod, but then I thought Souls is the better because... Maybe Rod was still better there. Alright, this is his top deck. Damn, that's a good top deck. Add a card that mentions Blackwing from deck to here. Fuck. Tribute a monster special token. I'll special summon except Synchro is that turn. Damn, he really drew that out, huh? Oh, no he didn't. No he didn't, chat. If you special summon a Dark Synchro, you can target a Blackwing once per turn. If a Dark would be destroyed, blah blah blah. Alright, we're fine. Oh, we're so fine. Unless this trap is goaded. Do they have a counter trap? Here we go. What does this do? Who cares? I'm not reading. Whee! We know this is the only two cards he has. Yeah, his deck all, all being dark and we have super poly bestials, it's like, nope. No playing. Uh oh. Uh oh, that lets him synchro. That lets him synchro. Uh oh. Can't use the bestials because they have no monsters on field. Now he gets the spell effects. I can't believe it, he unbricked. Then a Blackwing from deck to grave, and it comes the same level. And this card destroys a monster by battle, sends it to grave, banish a Blackwing. From your grave, face up. Banish a Blackwing monster from your grave, or face up field. Special summon the destroyed monster to your field in defense. And what are these? When you synchro a dark synchro from the extra, target one of your Blackwings that are banished during your grave, special them. So I guess he's not doing that part. Fist or whatever he sends. Yeah, I mean it seems about right. Especially if it's Zephros. Especially if it's Zephros. We just had the answers. Feels bad for this guy. We're having that moment where we have all the answers now. What DM card should be better? And I made a pretty big list. <laughs> yeah. If someone's like, what DM card should be better? You can just summarize it by saying all of them and move on. You can just say everything except Dragoon needs to be better. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Well, we got a sneaky win there. Mainly because of Super Polybistules. We still nearly let them pop off, which is crazy, no? That's kind of insane. Dragoon is a red eyes card? I disagree. Just because it starts with red eyes doesn't mean it's a red eyes card. Because it can be made with red eyes and dark magician. It has to be dark magician. Doesn't have to be red eyes, can be any dragon. So I actually say it's a DM card, not a red eyes card. You're like, oh, but red eyes cards burn. Yeah, well, obviously, it's mixed with a fucking red eyes card. But it's clearly DM, the important part of the fusion. The red eyes, not relevant. The red eyes can be any dragon. It's obviously both, but yeah, at the end of the day, it's obviously both. But they made sure it works in both. Oh shit, Evil Eye. Wow, send two? Send a monster and spell trap and add one from deck to him. What the crap? Send two, add one. Each time non Evil Eye card activates, you lose 500 LP. Okay. Uh, no dog.
Maxi. Yeah, fair enough. It's supposed to be used with Giga Ray's Gandor. What the fuck? Okay, then. <laughs> Make DM have all the Fenrir effects. Bottom text. Evil Eye of Selene. Destroy your opponent's card. Battle or opponent's card effects can't be destroyed. Opponent cannot target with card effects. Each time you activate the Equip Monster's effect, or you activate another Evil Eye, Equip Monster gains 500 attack. If it does, you lose 500 LP. Out in the graveyard. Now he gains 500. He lose 500 LP. Do I get to activate or no? Because I target. I target and I can't target. I got a special shun monster. Damn it. It's normal anyway. We can still super poly. Oh, they have a counter trap. What does it need? When a spell trap's activated. While you control an evil eye monster. Negate the activation if you destroy it. If Selene's in the spell trap zone, this card's activation effect cannot be negated. Well, Super Poly doesn't give a shit. Okay, you summon the dog worm thing. I called it a dog, it's a, it's a worm snake thing. Didn't I banish that one? No, I banished this one. It, they're very similar, but different. Super Polly is him. Uh-oh, he's doing weird things. Uh-oh. He's making this big guy. Is he dark? He's dark. Is he like a negate? When a monster your opponent controls activates its effect, you can either detach to or destroy. Okay, is it just Super Polly win the game? I think it's just Super Polly win the game, chat. But we don't have anything else. We have nothing else. Circle needs to hit. <laughs> Destroy one card you control. Okay, this is gonna be beneficial for him, probably. He pops his field spell. Oh, he loses 500 LP. Big! Getting me in for the lethal. Why didn't it add an evil eye card? Because none of these are evil eye cards. Damn, crazy. Wait, no, this is big brain. Circle, go get DM. Super Poly, discard it. Let's do that. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't think he would bust it on Circle, but I gotta remember that he's playing a freaking stupid deck. Yeah, alright. Yeah, it was alright. It's a misplay from me. It's a misplay from me. But, like, you, you would never expect someone to freaking... Use their one counter trap negate on circle. You really wouldn't. Alright. Say goodbye to Exodia. He paid more LP. That's right. Closer to lethal. Because we've got nothing else going on. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm really hoping Maxi carries. Set Soul Servant, pray. Alright, let's go. Can this come back? I sure hope not. Yeah, don't they just normal summon? They just normal summon, right? Oh, he did special a fair bit that turn. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's looking good. That's looking good. They can be a normal summon pass deck, but they've got a punk engine, looks like, so that's good for us. We need to draw some interactions. Look at this little guy. You can't see him because of my big face. Look at, look at this fella. You can't see him because of the chat. But you can see this little snacky boy here. Let's turn off everything. Look at this guy. He's a very cute little fella. Oh, we drew Fenrir. Pretty good card. Paid 600. Damn. LP going away. Ah, my camera is just broken now. Very good. Oh, we're back. We're back.
Oh, Dios mío. Do they kill us? Fusion Summon. Did I see the ban list? The Master Door one? Is, you say that like there's some... Is there a new thing, Paco Taco? Is there a new TCG list? You're getting me spooked. If you're talking about Master Duel, yes. I have a video on it already. If this is something I missed, then no. Super Poly character. In MD. Yes. Yes, I did. It's a good list. No Dragoon, though. Where Dragoon? Wait, isn't this card insane? Attribute this. Yeah, special to Pong with different name from deck. From deck? Hand deck. Except level 8's in defense. If you synchro using this card, you target a Punk you control. Can make a second attack during the battle phase. Okay. Pretty good draws so far, but we need more. Okay, so we're summoning two. We get one draw, because I think it's the one summon. Rising Cobb. Big Fishman. Wow, draw DMG. Cracked. A600. Man, those LPs are going down. Is someone end Punisher? Yeah, that's quite annoying. That's why the end punish is going to be good, huh? Look, another field spell that's actually good. Yeah, I think the psychic end punish is coming out here. What's this? A sync eight? Is he an eight? I think so. No, he's like a ten. Dragon Drive. I don't even know this one. The Psychic End is a 11. This is Special Summon. You can pay 600, take a level 3 from deck, add it to hand, or send it to the grave. But Deer Node has activated. You target a Punk. The 8 and 3 makes 11. So what, we just take out the Xiamen? Ah, we cannot. Ah, shit. Shit, Xiamen is a uh, Earth. Crap. Um, I have been duped. I have been royally duped. That's no good. I'm gonna banish this one. Seems good if he does Evil Eye stuff again later. This was a silly summon, though. But oh well. This is like a defensive bestial, like, please don't kill me kind of bestial. I am Big Muppet. Yeah, I'm in the hand as well. He gets to draw one? Okay. I would like to add one, but next time. Or end of time. Oh, I drew Ash. That's nice. Probably doesn't do anything, because this just makes the big scary punish end off. How do we beat the punish man? Psychic and punisher. Do we LP are less or lower than the opponents? Or e less or equal? It's unaffected by opponent's effects. You can pay a thousand, target a monster you control, target your opponent control, banish them. Start of the battle phase, make a game attack equal to the difference. Does that just kill us? Does he just kill us? He gains the difference, so he gains 7k. That's just game, right? Yeah, we die. Fuck. Pays a thousand. Man, why couldn't we get him down lower? This deck pays so much LP. Oh, we didn't draw Nibiru. We didn't draw the one of Nibiru. Wait, he just paid a thousand. Wait. Oh no, he doesn't need to. Oh, I thought it was part of the effect. I thought he had to pay a thousand and then he got the thing. Oh. Nope. He's got it. He's got it. That sucks. Starving Venom, you gotta gain some attack, man. You gotta gain some attack. No, he doesn't know. He doesn't. I don't know what you're talking about, chat. There's no game. 
Nope, there's no game. He attacks Magnemite, right? Um, chain. Why isn't this a spellcaster? Why can't I tribute it? Is there a way to make that thing in DM? Yeah, that's a good point. Because we're always going to be behind. Level 11 Synchro, so what? That's Summon DM and any level 4 Tuner. Magician Souls and any level 4 Tuner. Not a quick effect though. Effect failure with Chaos Angel. We're not doing that. Rot roll. Well. That was a rough one. That's rough. Starving Venom poking for a bit of damage ended up getting us killed. What a grim timeline that was. Can't even be mad, that guy wasn't playing meta at all. Level 4 Tuna? Cartesia? True, but you normally summon Cartesia off. What's it call it? Fusion deployment, and then it's a uh, locked into fusion moment. But we could, we could. Oh. He gained a lot of attack. Now, now we have the Nibiru. The game after it matters, we have the Nibiru, you know? Those maxi draws had to be, what, Nibiru? That's really it. A bestial didn't help. It had to be Nibiru, basically. Hmm. What's the star next to your name? Um, that means you're a, a member. So a lot of people have been donating memberships lately. And looks like you rolled one of them, Taco. Paco Taco, if you didn't buy it for yourself. Means you are part of the DM army. I forget what I called it. What did I call it? It has a name. And I've forgotten it. DM Royals, I think it is. Yeah, DM Royals. And because you're in the group, you can use these emojis. Very based. Chad, Chad DM. <laughs> ah, yes. Synchro cards. I actually want to play this card in DM. Special this, take 700 and then just sync. Level 2, what could we make? It's too low for Fleur. Oh. Let's try and end this combo early. So like Twitch? Yeah, just like Twitch. He still makes Elf here, right? Yeah, still makes Elf here. Maybe, wait, why did I do that? I could have saved and just nibiru Yeah, actually, we might still Nibiru. I probably should have saved the Magnemite for post-Nibiru. We can already Nibiru. But let him go a bit harder. Yeah, use another card in your hand. There you go. There you go. Use another card in your hand. No, we should definitely have Nibiru there. Banish this card from Grave Summon. Oh, oh, wait. We wait for that. We wait for the token. Oh, god damn it. What does Cupid Pitch do again? When it's sent to grave. It burns? It burns and adds? Based. Now he has Lubellion. You hate to see it. And he searches Corridor. Oh, so he's got Colossal as well. So we wait. We wait. Um, this has to shuffle a card into your opponent's deck.
Are we gonna give him that extension now? He now bestial on my bestial. Do let him make Baron? Yeah, well, he didn't. Speed the wagon! Here we go. Now we Nibiru. Can he shuffle this? No. So we can't negate it. A Zozo reference. Speed the wagon! Wait, so it just tributes the field and doesn't summon? <laughs> Yo, big. Oh, that counts. What? If a dragon is tributed? No way. He still pops off. That's actual ass. Actual ass. He still can bestial as well. This is kind of crazy, you know? He still got Lubellion in hand. What do you put it in the grave? No, you put it in the grave. Does he tribute this? Wow, he's still gonna combo. My god. I should have definitely saved my Magnum up for after I lived. Nice. You're just gonna keep going. Why wouldn't you banish my stuff? I don't know. Guess it doesn't really matter. Now he gets Lubellion. Hmm, cool. This thing's title. Ringo Worm the Dragon Guarding the Hundred Apples. Nice name. This makes Baron as well, doesn't it? Baron Pass. Ah, oh, god damn. We just lose. It's on me for Magnemite first. Should have waited for Nibiru, then Magnemite. Ringworm is a cool guy. Oh, and this is Colossus as well. Yeah, that fucking sucks. <laughs> That's fucking ass. Search is a beast deal in the end phase too. What? Why didn't mine search? Oh, Colossus. Colossus stopped my, my bestial search. Oh, that's good. That's real nice. He just gets the Flurna Gate out of the way. But oh well. Colossus is still banned. Yeah, I, I think it should be banned. Any card that doesn't let you search should probably be banned, in my opinion. This game is so like heavy on like searching and then this card is like, nope, we can't search. It's like, what? Name a deck that doesn't search, really. What do I take here? This? Print activates a monster effect. Do I just take the big guy? I think I take the big guy. I don't really know. Seems good though. That's only till the end phase. I keep forgetting that. Take Baron and Papa card. Yeah. And then make Dark. Are there spells in the graves? There's no spells in the graves. Make Anaconda Super Poly the board.
Is this negate and destroy? Destroy that monster. I go on your banish card, shuffle it into the deck, then if you shuffle it into your deck, destroy the monster. Um, if you shuffle it into your opponent's ne deck, negate the effects. It's either pop, pop, or negate. Pop or negate. Man, I don't know. Maybe we do just draw two. Take this. Then I don't have anything to do with him either. But there's one spell on the field and one on my field. Man, I don't know what to do. It's a pop and a negate, but it's already used as negate. So it doesn't have it. I have to take this. I think I have to take this. Oh yeah, I can still do the summon. That's kind of nice. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's This is good. I can make access code now. I don't think it matters. Okay, we baited him. It's it's main phase two. We we cannot battle, sir. I think I just made my lip bleed. I think Anaconda is still the best play here. Make that dark, use these two off the field. I think, I think it's the best play. Oh, even better. Um, that's all though. He still gets his search. Kinda sucks. I don't know if we win though. We'll see. See what he gets. He's gonna have four card hand. Yeah, four card hand with the ability. Yeah, it still resolves. I was pretty sure. But I may as well use the token because it's a quick effect. I can I mean the effect, I can do it again. Had a bestial. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. We've got Sony now. I've got Sony targets. Let me see.
Sprite Elf. Nice. That's probably his game, he makes access code, goes pew, 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 as soon as I waste my negate. I mean, access, I can't even respond to access code summon with this guy. Alright, I'm just gonna do this now, because he can just make access code right now. Oh, it's quick effect, yeah, what am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? Fuck, man. Well, I mean, there's no way to win. He just makes access code with this board here, and I lose. That was like a moment where I had a negate, but I really didn't. Like, no matter what, I just don't have a negate. Nah, I agree, Paco Taco. Get that shit out of here. Get that shit out of here. Shinobi top deck, kinda good. Yeah, I've never seen Shinobi played in a deck. It's actually kind of an insane card, hey? This deck is just like Synchro Fusion dot do whatever you want, bestial turbo. It's just banish dot turbo. Speed the wagon. This is something one of my good mates would play if he played Yu-Gi-Oh again. He's used to play shit like this. Like, Unga Bunga, Summon the Kitchen Sink got deck. Yeah, we are dead. GG's. Rough. And that ends our going positive profile. Isn't he playing Dragon Link? No. That is not Dragon Link, my brother. <laughs> That's not Dragon Link, bruh. It's just K yeah, Chaos deck, Synchro deck. Just Dot Synchro deck with Sprite as well. Sprite as well. No Sprite starter though. Or is it ban? Maybe. Interesting list. Maxing on Saraneer as well. Wait, wasn't playing like the traps or anything. Really interesting list. Interesting list. I don't have a Giga Chad list, not gonna lie. I've been losing a lot of games. Whew. Dragoon unban would break MD. Put it in, ban Brand Fusion, ban Anaconda. Now, ref dot deck is best deck. Fuck. I don't know if we wanna go. We probably still don't want first. Unless it's stunned, then I'm gonna cry. We've been losing now. We gotta go back to going first builds, I guess. Wow, this is a going second hand, huh? Oh, yo, he's playing Red Eyes. Keck? No, now we're playing some D-Link. No. Oh, I summoned the wrong one. I summoned the wrong one. <laughs> Pardon me. Why did I do that? I have evenly and shit. And lightning so Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Well, I hope he outs it. I really hope he outs it. DP is better than Dragoon. That is a fact. The bricks alone make it better, I swear. So, as you guys know, I just posted my two-card, like, combo on how to summon... Well, ages ago, I made that two-card combo on how to make, like, Magia. And there's other two-card combos out there, too. Nadira is, like, a one-card combo version as well. Someone just commented in the comments, like, a three-card combo of it. And it's like... What? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, the draw two is insane, but Celestial's banned on MD. So, it would just be... It would just be Dasha and... 
Denier, which is still good. They're still really good. So I don't know. I'm fine to play Red Eyes Fusion. Red Eyes Fusion is my favorite card in TCG. Alright, Dragoon is my favorite card, but Ref, one of my favorites because it gets me there. Uh, like, I want to sell. I'm just turning off my hand even further. I'm just going to not use my Bestials. I should not be doing anything. Ref is exactly. Ref is one of the most fair cards. You use it and you can't summon or do any other shit that turn. Like, it's good. It's not broken, it's just good. It was very balanced. Unlike, um. Unlike all the other fusion spells, God. I guess Brandon Fusion's kind of balanced, because you can also. You also get locked into fusion, but you can do other stuff. You can still go fusion deployment, you can still normal summon, do some other stuff, you know? Ref getting negated is like, you pass your turn, sir. Oh, man, I hope he pops my guy. Ref isn't fair, it's actually just bad. I think it's pretty fair. I think it's fair. It summons one of the strongest boss monsters in the game in one card combo. I think you can't say a card like that is bad. Yeah, Brandon Fusion is virtually free. I changed my mind. Who's Ref? Ref Mama! Ref truly is the GOAT. Yo, Red Eyes Media? You know what this card does? Add Red Eyes Fusion from deck or grave to hand. It looks for Ref. Big. Ref would be better with better targets than Slash. Well, that's why we're saying Dragoon. <laughs> Dragoon would be nice. Wyvern isn't a necessary hit. Like, I just don't care, you know? Any hit, any hit to a deck that's not DM, I'm like, cool. <laughs> it's fine with me. Play Red Eyes Fusion F4. Well, oh, oh, oh. Facts. I did sing this at one point. Reginald Eugene Frank, otherwise known as Ref. Very based. Can he please pop my Magna Mutt Pizza Hut Pizza Slot? Or I'll attack into him and do it myself. I can activate Red Eyes Fusion and don't break my own hand. With Media, you can play Ref at 6. With Inside, you can play Ref at 9. But not really, because Media has to add it the turn after it's sent. Big sad. But that's okay. It's still good. It's still very good. Damn, Rocket Tracer. This is how you make a fucking normal summon for a deck. Not even. You quick launch it out. But this is how you make a good card for a deck. Rocket fucking Tracer, motherfuckers. What a card. You seen Red Eyes Fusion for our locals? Now that is based. That is mega based. Sparring girl. <laughs> People probably like, what the fuck? I dig it. You gotta flex on him with the ref. You better be activating that ref too. Enjoy Dragon Link while you can. Yeah, straight up. All the D-Link players coming out of the woodworks. <sighs> He's been comboing for a while. I kind of need a pee, but I'm gonna wait. I know the second I go, they'll stop comboing. Oh, he's making this guy too? How did he make that? Rocket Tracer. Oh. Dragon Link didn't do anything wrong? Well, I mean... It didn't do anything right either. Am I right? Have you read Spheres? Spheres is a fucked card. Fuck that shit. The fusion dupe you can run ref, but you need to get one in graveyard first. What? You can't run fusion dupe with ref. You just... You, all you need to do is play the crack trap. 
Rack trap is the way. You just play um fusion. I forget what it's called. Fusion the trap card, it's kinda new. Oh, I forget. Let me look it up. Is fusion conscription? No, it's not that. No, it is not conscription. Holy shit. We need to look on EDO Pro. Fusion duplication, that's the one. Fusion duplication. Chaos Ruler. Hey, it's the band card, chat. This guy, like, quick effect, target effect monster on the field or rock in your grave to get the effects of that monster, and if you do special the other, your opponent can't respond. Yeah, good. Good and nice. Can't be destroyed by battle or card effects if I could target this with monster effects. Well, that's fucking cool, isn't it? Yeah, here it is, right here. Fusion, duplication. Yeah, duplication, you said that. That's true. They don't even end on spheres anymore in D-Link, like what? They just make this big chungus? Is spheres not good anymore? Necrofusion? I would disagree. I think Necrofusion is dog shit. But that's just me. Banishing DM? It's like, what? No thanks. No thank you. It also, see the problem with Necrofusion is it means your first rev had to have resolved, right? Necrofusion is like only gonna work if you're ahead. Because ref resolved, and you have Dragoon. This card, I just closed it again. Fusion duplication works whether you're ahead or behind, which is why it's cracked. Target fusion or poly quick play spelling, either play the grave, banish it and apply it. So even if they asked your ref, you banish the ref in grave and you copy the effect on res so they can't ash it again. And you just, it's better because you don't need to have resolved the first ref. The first ref could have got negated. You could send the ref there off some sort of effect, like if you draw into ref later, you can barricade Borg Blocker, the link to, discard the ref, and then the trap's still live. Very good. What is up, Neo Crackers? Yeah, they're doing the D-Link combo things. I really just want my bestial to be gone, please. I don't know how I'm outing this, by the way. Oh, there we go. He killed it for me. Thank you, Kamisawa. We just need to out this bitch. Whoa, he just paid 4k? Destrudo? Destrudo. There's only a monster effect negation here, and I guess this, which is also kind of nice. Is evenly once per turn? No, sir. We're going to be using both copies. Going to be using both of the copies. Well, yes. I I would say Necrofusion can do things. But I'm just saying the new trap's better. Like, it makes Necrofusion, like... Unplayable. In my opinion, there's no reason to play Necrofusion. You can play the new trap. You know? Hot red incoming. So that's a negate. Oh, that's Baron as well. Yeah, who the fuck said Dragon Link did nothing wrong? <laughs> Locals didn't go well. Had flu twice, DDDs, and Labyrinth. Woo! That's rough. That is rough. Did you play DM like a king? Oh, it's Savage. I thought he'd be making Baron. He's probably locked into... He's locked into Darks, isn't he? Savage. So, two negates. And resolve this effect. No card died. Yep. Classic. Classic. He'll probably play more, one more beast here. So, two negates. So, what you're saying is we need a Lightning Storm first. I'm I'm hearing I need to do this first. This burns one of the negates. Yep. <laughs> yeah, dealing did nothing wrong. What? What? What is this? Through one interruption, this is what they made. Cringe. They made cringe chat. 
D-Link did nothing wrong, they're just too safe. Everything in D-Link is safe. He still wins after two evenly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't win. I'm pretty sure I lose after two evenly. Alright, again. Set Alba has infused the entire board. Yeah, that would be the play here. Alright, we can't out, out this though. Start playing Jinzo at your locals. That's actually big brain. But once again, privilege of the side deck. Master Duel be crying. No side deck gaming. So we've made it. We've outed all of the board except this dickhead. And we don't have a way to do it. Break effect, target effect, monster on the field, and a rocket in the grave, negate the effects of the other, reduce special the other, or negate the effects of the first, special the other. Can't respond. Can't target it with card effects, this targets. Yep, so there's no way out. The best thing we can do is get rid of that stupid fucker who's about to be banned. We are the ban list right now. Piss him off. Need to remove it with circle? Yeah, straight up. And I, that's not happening. I can tell you that is not happening this game, chat. <laughs> that is not happening. Summoning Tracer is so nuts, by the way. Holy shit. Soul Drain go brrr. Soul Drain, not bad. The Beast Duel does target. Wait, did he just target his own Tracer? Why would you not just target my guy? I guess it doesn't really matter, but still. What's he got? What's the new rank 8? Okay, there's not one. Should have hit Tracer. Uh, I'm more worried about the 3k attack big boy coming out as opposed to this little dickhead. You gotta get rid of this. There is no way to win this. It's crazy. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, deck. See why hand traps suck in fucking Dark Magician? Like, what does this fucking do? Why isn't this a one card fusion fucking starter? Why isn't this red eyes fusion or branded fusion? I don't know. But I'm mad. Alright, we're just playing to not lose here, which we all know is just a recipe for disaster. Dragon Link did nothing wrong, by the way. Secrets should be able to do fucking a lot more. Oh, is it dead? Oh, we're not. Not yet. We're just having a slow, drawn-out death because even with two evenly matched and lightning storm, we can't win a game. I think that says more about DM than anything else ever will. <gasps> a DM card, but he has a negate. So anything we summon is irrelevant. <laughs> yeah, Konami giving DM a f good fusion spell, challenge level, impossible.
There's no way to play this hand out. There is no way to play this hand out. It's crazy. My man said Dark Ruler no more. What the fuck would Dark Ruler no more do? You're wild and on main. Maybe I just put this back. <laughs> just, just pass another turn. Like, we can't keep playing cards down one at a time. Either he kills us or we save our cards and make a big play. <laughs> Either way, we're just dead. We're just kind of dead. Rikara would out this? No, yeah, because of tributes. Oh, we're just dead. He has a beast deal. Gingerbread, what are you talking about? In what world does any of the hands I had make Big Eye? So you want me to draw a Dark Ruler and you want me to make Big Eye on top of that? Good luck with that. DM can't do that combo without like four cards. But <laughs> good luck. Man, imagine if Secrets could do literally anything blue queen. Anything good. Rough. Anything is possible. Well, that's where you're wrong. In card games, things are very set in structure and whatnot. Alright, I'm pissing. And then we're gaming. We're 6-8 now? Fuck me. The grind, the grind just keeps getting worse and worse, huh?
I've been muted. Whoops. So sorry. As I was saying, my man's gingerbread is saying big eye dark ruler to out this board. I gotta disagree with you, Chief. I don't think big eye dark ruler does a fucking thing here. <laughs> Which one do you take? What's even the best one to take? Probably the borrel. But even then, you're just losing. <laughs> You're just losing. The trap, for starters, the trap. The trap doesn't give a shit about Dark Ruler. And that's all I really have to say about that. But yeah. Dark Ruler and Big Eye does not out that board. Believe it or not, Big Eye fucking sucks. <laughs> Crazy, I know. Anyway. DM should be allowed to cheat. That's a fact. We should have a one card rank 7. Like... In, uh, Orcus. We should have a one card fusion spell like Branded and other decks. We should have a uh, pop off one card Link 1. Like any deck with a good Link 1. You know what? Let's just get all the best bits of decks we like and put them in the DM. Why not? Why not? Hmm. You're not getting in the gate because you need a rocket engrave? Well, the, there's literally not a good card to add there to, to grab off bigger. You just cope and die. Cope and see, then die. Oh, I got a prismatic red hot boy. Big guy doesn't suck. It's a 2600 attack snatch deal. Bro brother, did you not just see the fucking scene we were talking about? It doesn't do anything. It's a two card. One, like steal one thing. It will get negated. You can't steal anything relevant anyway. Like, it's just shit. It's just shit. Anything good won't be able to be stolen anyway. A bad card is a bad card. If Big Eye was a good card, it would be in every list. There's no way. You can't even summon Big Eye without playing this. You have to play this dog shit card if you want to make Big Eye going first or on your first turn. You have to play this dog shit in DM. So you have to open Souls and you have to open Illusion of Chaos. I couldn't find it. And then it gets you to this. I'll play you then. Brother, you're a casual. I don't want to duel you. The DM mirror proves nothing. I get one of you in my stream every time I stream. Saying, saying duel me to prove it doesn't fucking do anything. The DM mirror match means nothing. Hope and seethe. It fucking sucks. Big eye is bad. Big eye target dragoon. Good luck with that. Good luck with big eye target dragoon. That's right. You need to be playing a rank seven strat, and therefore you're playing the worst version of Dark Magician. Hmm. I don't know what changes I want to make. I low-key don't want to play Ash. It sounds dumb. But it's a one-for-one -one trade. Can we afford a one-to-one -one trade? It stops Maxi, which is big, but it's a one-to-one -one trade. One less rod. Yeah. Well, I can't play Curry. I can't play Curry, man. I don't have the mats. I can't type, and I don't have the mats. I don't have the, uh, oh, I do. I can make one. I can make a single one. That's right. If you played one rank seven, you play Tomahawk. That's facts. We were playing Tomahawk a little while ago. But obviously it plays into end every interruption under the sun. We're going to play Curry Babylon. That's the big brain card. One Curry? All right. You convinced me. It's in. Play small world? I don't- I can't play small world. I don't- oh, it's a super rare. <laughs> so do you say super rare? Ash to Rod gets it? This is actually quite good. I'd have to look at some other paths in the deck, but it's actually quite good. I'll play the one Ash. Or maybe I have to play two Ash. Hmm. Uh, 
Oh, okay. They're coping about Dr Galaxy Tomahawk? Yeah, alright. Okay, then. Um... I'm real bad at Small World, so it's reveal one, choose one, banish the revealed, then add the one you look at. Rot into Ash, most of the spellcasters into Valor can do it as well. Two Ash, two Rod. Let's go. Um, I'm just thinking of some other lines. Let's go into, let's go into a solo and just see if we have some other lines. I'm not even going to think about it, because it's small world. I'm going to see if we can find some other lines. I've only got one small world though, like, bruh. 7k gems, yeah, but we're saving them, you know, for when the DM fusion spell drops. No? No? DM Tomahawk. We were labbing that in here last time. Uh, going second DM. You know what, it's all because we cut the obelisk, guys. I think we need to put the obelisk and the, uh, the true name back. I think we need to put him back in. Everything went downhill when we took him out. Just saying. Just saying. Okay. We don't have small world. All the bridging pieces. I guess that's the other thing. You have to find small world. Plus the bridging pieces. Like there's a, You need a lot to go right. Right? Obelisk was the main OTK. Yeah, surely we can play something better with those four card slots, though. Surely. Is this is this my life now? Resetting till you know what? We're better off doing small world in Edo Pro. Let's do that. Um, small world. And what was it? We have Ash. And we need Curry. Three curry. Nice. Get this. Get the rod. I want to look at some other lines, so we might put some other cards in the hand. That's probably it though, right? It's just these guys. The test hand settings. Let's put on four. Oh, I was meant to put on don't shuffle. Uh, don't shuffle. You play triple tactics for us to search small worlds. I guess. Yes. Reveal rod. Show ash. Get curry. Oh, you get rid of rod too, that's grim. Anyway. We should add Valor as another target. How does the Valor line work? I really don't get this card if you can't tell. What does it have in common with this? Zero, zero. Oh, wait, Souls gets us there too. Souls gets us to... Wow. Rod and Souls can get you to Curry Curry. <sighs> All because we play Ash. Hmm. Okay, we're not listening to you anymore. <laughs> it put you to Masters. Yo, this guy plays Dark Ruler in DM and has Jinzo. They put him in Masters. Yo, good job, buddy. Ash is actually a bridge. You do go Neg 1. It's true. You do go Neg 1. What happens if we use it on Illusion of Chaos? I have no idea. <laughs> We're stuck with the Red Eyes stuff. Interesting. Let's get out of this solo mode. Um, I don't know. It's probably a bit of cope. Yeah, going minus one in DM. Like we're already going minus seven. I don't know. I don't know. You're rough. Hmm. Yeah, I want to play DM Walkers, but no. Nah. <laughs> It'll be dog shit. I 
think I need another base deal. DBH. This one. I'm happy to cut Lightning Storm and have the double evenly. The deck is getting so messy though. It's getting messier and messier. It's so rough. I wish we could just have Dragoon. It would make the deck so linear. It would be like, here is the goal of the deck. Go and do this. Stop winning the fucking die roll. I don't know what I want. I'll let the wheel pick. First. Alright, we're gonna have the most crack going second hand. Good cards turbo. I don't even know if we're good cards turbo, we're just cards. Shit. Now this could be alright. This could be okay. Man's got max C or what? Start with this so we don't play into bestials. Dimensional shifter. Yeah, we don't really want to see it, but at least we can use it like next turn. The soul just gets banished, but the dam goes to grave, which is nice. Rumble the Rod. Do the opponent has Ash? I don't think they do. Not a lot we can get here. If he plays Cash, he might be cooked. Yeah, maybe. Spirit Card is not quick effect, is it? You can only do it on your turn. Right? Yeah, we can Tactics, but I just don't know what we want. I really want to go for circle, but then if the top two cards I see are dog shit, we're stuck with them. Oh well, fuck it, it's DM. It's what we do. It's what we do. Oh wow! Nice! Okay. Cool! I don't want these draws though, you see what I mean? Oh, this shuffles! It shuffles! Oh my god, yes. Shuffle and draw into maxi. Or do we rip hand? Should we rip hand? This is a bit of a rip hand angle. Like, we've got Ash, we've got Kurikari. What more do we need? Yeah, we probably should have tactics first, but now I think we go... Have a look. What you got? What you got, a little bean sprout? Ah! Oh, Cosmic! I think we rip the Cosmic. This is a target of Cash Tira Monster. His hand is Brick. Rip the Cosmic. His hand is Brick. He needs the top deck of Cash. So he has Thrust, so we can't activate any monster effects until the end phase. No monster effects. I think we got this one. This is epic. I didn't didn't link Rod away because we're under Shifter. Wait, we're under our Shifter. He's ending his turn. Okay, good. We win. Yeah, we only have two rod in this list too, so it's like, uh, I need to keep a TK with true name. Oh, that's secrets. That's secrets. That's illusion of chaos. Illusion of chaos, go get secrets. I go get rod, go get secrets. I'm thinking too far ahead, but you get what I mean. Man, getting rid of that cosmic was big. True name Obelisk second DM is based. I agree. We got rid of it. We got rid of it, sadly. But it was cool. 
This is Game of Secrets. It is always Game of Secrets, my guy. Man, it's so many ways to game. We don't even have to use, um, we don't even have to summon Master of Chaos. We can just summon this guy. We still have Eternal Soul available as well. There's a hundred ways to game right now, right here. Let's go. Big nuts, big nuts right now. You've never played Master of Chaos? It's real good. It gives you OTK. Like, if we were short on damage there, it would have given us 5,000... 5,500 damage. Yeah. No DM animation, I'm sorry. I forgot. I was happy to win. Master of Chaos would have had the DM animation. <laughs> Man, I want to play first again. That was actually real nice. I'll let fate decide. Fate take the wheel. We're going second. Fair enough. Fair enough. I don't want to pick anymore. I hate picking now. I'm just like, just give me whatever. Maxi, nice. What? Valiant's World. Place a Valiant's field spell from your deck face up in your opponent's field spell zone. There are two field spell zones. The turn player can target an effect monster in the opponent's main monster zone. In the same column as one of their monsters, place that opponent's monster face up as a continuous spell in the spell trap column. In the same column. Okay then. Sure. Also Dyna Turbo deck? Is it actually? Oh yeah, Valiance. They turbo the, the little guy, don't they? Assholes. Wait, aren't these neither that? Valiance world... Koenig Wizen. Oh no, that's that one. I'm so stupid. Village Fossil. Yeah, this deck's actually cringe, so we need to draw it evenly matched. Come on, where's the evenly? Do they do effects on our turn? Do we have time to thrust? Do we have time to be thrusting and busting? Oh, we can't evenly because they give us a field spell. They give us a fucking field spell. That's so cancer. Holy shit. That's actual wank. Where evenly? If you set something to gate board, Kirikara can singly OTK? Big? 
Well, evenly I can't use because he gave me a field spell, right? Oh, evenly. I still want it. Pardon me. Appaloosa. Does this mean he's not hit the optimal board? It seems like something's gone wrong. Why is his pen zone negated? I don't even know. Oh, because he didn't pen summon. Your pendulum zones are negated. Wait, what? But he can still pen? Okay. Forbidden droplet? Because sending bad. Sending card bad. I guess maybe a master adult's not so bad because Maxi exists. Another card to draw. We've gone through nearly the same amount of cards. See, Maxi balanced. 25 in deck, 27 in deck. You're gonna deck me out? Maybe. That might be the goal here. I still talk to the strongest DM player from Canada. Ryan? Ryan Atlas? Ow. Yeah, Ryan's cool. What does this guy do? Oh, never mind. He's gone. Ah, this is the guy. So this is the guy where he, like, swaps his own. Swaps his own. You can destroy a card. Plot twist is gonna mill in my car. Look, I see it happening. I really do. How do I out this field spell? How do I just get this shit off my field? I don't know. Like, Magician Souls can send it for draws, but then I have Magician Souls. I guess it can become Anima. Magician Souls becomes Anima. This only negates, though, doesn't it? How do I bait the negate? Ash. Look how easy it is for them to summon their fusions. I'm jelly. Salvation gets rid of your field spell? No, it doesn't. Yeah, baby! Let's go! I guess he was trying to deck us out. Salvation gets rid of my field spell, but I can't use evenly. That's... Not what I was asking. Yeah, I don't think there's a way. Maybe he was going for the whole deck you out or make the biggest board possible and he messed it up. I, I don't know. Playing into Maxi is a hate crime. Yeah, Maxi just wins games on its own. So dumb. Kinda like Fenrir. Yo, we have the bridge. How does Kurikari do into adding Mister's big rank six? I'm gonna guess it's wait no tributing's good. Tributing is good. Doesn't have to have an activated effect. Can we just Kurikari tribute it? I think so. God and he grapes is here. What is up, God and he grapes? Good to see you. Yeah, I think we might actually be able to do something here. Just have to bait him a lot? Okay. We'll try. See, I, I want to use Magician Souls to do baiting, but then, like, I need Magician Souls with a small world bridge. It'll have to be other stuff. If they add Circular to go next. Are you sure? Even with Kurikari? Am I even saying that card right? 
Kurikara. Kurikara. I'm saying Kurikari. Kurikara. So, by tripping all face up monsters in the field that activated their effects this turn in your opponent's monster zone. 1500 for each monster tributed. And then summon one of your opponents to your field. Okay. Super Poly seems good here, yeah, 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 not wrong. Tactics is also going to be probably live, right? We'll see. Tan's actually pretty nice. Keen to see what the draw for turn is. Um, What's the adding this to Link 6? It's dark, would you believe it? It's dark. What a shame it's a dark. Unaffected by other cards effects. Oh, so you can't super poly with it. But it can be tributed still. Once per turn, target another monster in the field is straight. It doesn't activate its effect, so I can't curry how to tribute it. I can't tribute it. Right? If it doesn't have an activated effect, it might be boned. Can we take it? No, it's unaffected. Hmm. Maybe we're dead. Oh, that's a good card. He gets the trap. There is the circular. Go kick rocks. There's the circular. Dark Fluid. When your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, remove a counter from this card and negate the activation. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh, well, there's one monster we can do. Remove one counter from this card and negate the activation. Also, if this effect was activated between this card's attack declaration and the end of the damage server, you can now make another. Place counters on it equal to the number of different guys. So, two. 2500 for every counter on it. During the battle phase, I know. Okay. Rona activates a monster effect. Move a counter, negate the activate. A idle reborn. Okay then. Oh wow, that's quite good. It's unaffected by your parents' card effects at the end of the time. Oh, secrets, no! Alright, put the tactics online straight away. Oh no, that was in draw phase. Who negates to get through before we can tribute Love Board? Potentially. Tribute this and that, I guess. Like, we need to use Magician Souls to get the base. This sucks. Like, I can't see a way to do it without using the small wolf, unfortunately. Man, this sucks. He's got the math mag trap as well. Pardon me.
Why is it a cyburst and not a dragon? Let me make Dragon Knight, man. I have cards in hand, by the way. Why can't I super poly right now? Go into this. Why is super poly not the play right now? I could have small world, yeah. Oh, it's unaffected. Why is it unaffected? Did this card is sent from, from the field to the grave? Target a face up. Oh, make it unaffected. Okay, I see. I see. Yeah, we're kind of burned then. Yeah, I could have small world with the rod actually. The rod could have been sent away. There's one of the negates. Now we can triple tactics. I think we're just drawing two. Wait, no, we've got small world on top. No, it doesn't destroy. Hmm. Okay. God gains 2500 for each cannon during the battle phase only. Damn it, it's either battle phase. Yeah, I can fuse it away next turn, that's very true. Oh, we can bridge into Thinger. We can bridge into Curry Curry. Get rid of that in the gate right now. Probably bad, but I'm gonna do it.
Oh yeah, I got rid of Salamangrate, Great, huh? <laughs> I can still do it. Wait, what? What? It works? He can't respond to it? I should have got rid of this. Of Chaos Angel. Yeah, this card's insane. It's a tribute. It's a kaiju. Alright, alright, game. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. I'm just so amazed. I thought it would activate, though. It doesn't activate. It's just like, bonk. That's incredible. What an incredible card. Yeah, he's still got the trap. Oh, he's got wind. He's got that as well. That's rough. <laughs> still hasn't trapped, though. Like, we're pretty dumb. We're pretty finished. Oh, there it goes. Kurikara is... I think I... Yeah, I think I play more. You found my channel last week. You've been smashing out the custom DM content. Oh. Hell yeah. Thanks, man. You mean like the custom... Custom card competitions I have? Is that what you were watching? Or... Just the DM content in general? Rot roll. We're losing the cards. Wait, it's gonna be two from field? Oh, alright. One spell trap, one monster, and a card from him. I thought it was like Grave as well. You like the custom cards? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, we're pretty donezo this game. But I got to experience how good Kurikari is. Kurihara, I keep saying its name wrong. Crazy. Secret Summon Dragoon? True. True. G Golem Crystal Heart. Um, I think with a hand like that, it's pretty safe to just give them the benefit of the doubt and say they've got it. Probably got it. Um, wow. What a good card. Really solid, and Small World is a bridge to it, so I don't mind playing the one. Okay. Okay. Um, let's run it back. Run it back. Okay. I'm quite happy with this card. Big thanks to the people who mentioned it. It's better than playing one Kaiju, that's for sure. Going second, alright. Let's check that hand. Peep the hand. I should have left the... Link 3 on the board. Because then we could have triggered the whole field. Attacked twice. He still had the trap available, of course, but still, like, it would have been better. Wow, quite a going second hand, huh? Well, that's why you maxi straight away, I guess. But now, we see what he's actually playing, because I don't think he's playing cash. Small one into a kaiju as well. I suppose that is true. I suppose so. Um, I think that's better. I think it's better. Because we can't... DM can't really afford one-for-one one trades. We need the big unga bunga. Give me the big unga bunga multiple card trades. Yeah, started with Nadir. Must be bricked. He must be bricked up. Labyrinth DM work, furniture can pitch DM DM. Jeez, for me. Probably not. There's too many pieces moving there, I think. Too many moving pieces. Getting punishment. What is he playing? Maybe the ritual variant of Dogmatica? Pardon me. Punishment set? Ritual card set? Wow. Keep setting. We've got Duster. Duster evenly. Alright then, we're not going to use Max C. That's a good top deck. Good top deck. Max C off the bat, turning the talents online. Huge. Oh no, it's draw phase. Never mind. Never mind. Draw phase. Chaining to the Max C. Big welcome. Large welcome. I would like to also Max C. Fenrir gets rid of Fenrir. I think it's just evenly matched. 
Balance is on all my. Yeah, I'm wrong. Wait, if he cross outs Max C, doesn't this negate his Max C? Doesn't he just turn off his own Max C here? As well as mine. Or does it just turn off mine? I'm thinking of called by. I'm thinking of called by. Does his still work? Or does it negate both? Oh, it negates both! Nice! So it is like called by. It's the same interaction. He adds a labyrinth. Okay. I'm pretty happy to go evenly matched. We can go Fenrir search. He banishes our Fenrir. We banish... No. No, we just go battle. Let's go battle. He probably keeps Fenrir. Which turns off all his Labyrinth stuff. Like all of it, more or less. If he keeps any of these, we out them with Fenrir. Oh, not really, because we can't attack. Oh, he keeps the back row. Interesting choice. <laughs> Get dusted on the punishment, buddy. The one card he keeps. Oh, we should have maybe not done that, because now we can't tactics. I don't know if that duster was worth it, because we're versing lab. Probably not. But I thought Tactics was live for some reason too. Oh, wow. Skill Drain? Or super Poly. Probably Super Poly. DM Deck, by the way. DM Deck. DM Deck in small brackets at the end. Of course. He did search it. Oh, Fenrir outs Fenrir, doesn't it? So that means my Fenrir outs his Fenrir next turn, right? Wait, hold up. He's playing multiple Ecclesia? Or did he bounce it back? He must have bounced it back or something. <laughs> back to DM supporting the Fenrir, true. Oh, we can send our Garura here. Fenrir, Dark Magician. Let's put Dragon Knight in the bin, in case we draw Soul Servant. Now if we draw Soul Servant, we have a DM in the bin. Circle is gone, that is fine. Draw one, in before we draw Soul Servant. Ash. Ash, bro. Come on, man. It's a draw one. That's very rude. I think we're okay. I think we're in a good position here. We may even win. All comes down to this. Oh, yeah. We knew that was there, didn't we? Max C. That's rough. I guess we won't super poly this turn, we'll just do this. Gives him one draw, but there's nothing we can do. Set this, I guess? Does this pop any card? Banish this card, target a monster on the field, destroy it. Okay, it pops Fenrir. Fenrir, Dark Magician. There it is. He pops the Fenrir. Okay. He's never playing into tactics too, it sucks. 
God damn it. How is he? I thought he's had all three in a deer. No, it's only been two in a deer. The deer at two? Or is it three? I think it's a three now. Keeps adding back the same Ecclesia. Yeah, that's right. You can keep adding it back. So I frame shuffle uh, card in the grave. You're going to shuffle back. Punishment. Oh, so he can go grab it now. Yeah, makes sense. Pretty good. Double max C has been very good for him, yes. Hmm. He drew into Nadia, like, wow. Simply clapped. He's very good. He's very good. Maximus send again. So sending Omega and I don't know what else he's got. Omega and the win Pegasus. Wow, he's just full of targets. I'm kind of out of targets at this point. Don't really want to send anymore. Probably do like these two. I can't super poly these two. Oh, I got rid of my Garura. <laughs> oh, I got rid of Garura. I did get rid of Garura. Does Venom trigger without destruction? Um, it has to be destroyed. It has to be destroyed. What did he shuffle back? An elder entity Natus. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Skill drained. You are so late. You are so late. It's not funny. And we lose. We actually lose this. Wow. <sighs> Getting rid of Garura hurt. And it got Ash too. So it wasn't even for anything. We'll see if he plays into it, but I'm guessing we're taking a loss. T plays into the Super Poly, I mean. I don't think there's a single, single thing I can make. My dragon's two monsters with the same attribute, but different types. But he'd need to summon a light that's not... Okay, yeah, he just got it. That sucks. Wow. Just losing to the deer package plus maxi. Grim. Truly really grim. I don't know if I can fathom much more of this. It might be time to switch to YG or Omega. It might be time to play some... Some, um... Oh, hello, Steam. Might be time for some Dragoon. Might be a uh, Goonin, Goonin time, you know? My lord. Maxi, kind of a good card, I hear. Kind of, kind of insane. All right, we're playing the real game now. Our deck list is disgusting. Let's go. We could do a viewer tournament. That's a good idea. Let's do that. Oh shit. Well, I guess we can play one. With ref dot deck, the game should be over quickly, right? Right? No ref? No ref and village? Cringe. Oh, we're first. No? No, we're not. No, we are not. Ooh, paying 4k. We just need a top deck ref. Do you have to craft cards on here? Nope. Everything is free. <sighs> Everything's be free and life be good. Stratos, isn't it? Oh yeah, maybe we boot up the master duel and get a room going. Who's down? 
Actually, let's see who wants to sign up for the tourney right now. Um, put a one in the chat if you want to be in the tournament. The best thing I can do. We've got me. We've got Blue Quinn. We've got It's C Max as opposed to It's Max C. It's C Mac. Aspiring Girl. Red. If you have a different name on Master Duel to your name in on YouTube as well, if you could tell me that too, that'd be really good. Do you have to play DM in the tournament? Um I want to say no. I want to say you can play whatever you want. Play whatever the hell you like. Um, but you know, I'll probably play DM. Or maybe I'll play Grim Orgy. Who knows? Playing Heroes, that's cool. You don't have to tell us either. But you can play whatever you like in the, in the event, in the tournament. It will be on Master Duel as well, so I'll, I'll boot up Master Duel again. While we're waiting. Get a room going. You playing Brick Eyes? Yo. Bad shit. I'm gonna enter it, but I'm really more happy just watching. <laughs> I'm gonna get food and just watch. Maybe, maybe, maybe I take myself out. We'll see how many people we get. If I make it even, I'll, I'll stay in. Um, Brandon's also joining us. Cool. Not turn yet? No. Alright, I'll try to get a room started. Okay, that's close enough. If your name's close, Aspiring Girl, that's fine. Some people's names are like completely different. It's like, bro. How was I meant to know? Like, who's who? Um... Gingerbread man's in. And hear that man still comboing off on YG Omega. Are we gonna start a duel room? As many people in as possible. Okay, room. Uh, room details. Copy room ID. Room ID. I'm gonna pin that comment too, so people can see it forever. But everyone could, should start jumping in, and we'll just finish off this duel over here. Do I gaff is your name in at MD? Do I look like I give a heck? Dilly gaff. Okay, so I'm going to put that next to your name. Dilly Gaff. Alright, we've got... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 people in the tournament. Anybody else want to join? There is 50 people here watching. Are you sure you sitting there don't want to join? Don't want to join the tournament. Put a 1 in the chat. And if you've got a different name on Master Duel, then your YouTube name, let me know. You can play whatever you like, Blue Queen. Are you getting in on this? Gotta be uh, taking his time, he's got his DPE. He's chilling. Chilling, though. He's got the DPE. Being chilling. We really need a top deck ref here. Pray. DPE popping. Semi's dropping. Popping his guy, doesn't it? Summon something when it's popped. No, you tribute it. Isn't he here a Dark Angel? 
I don't know what this does. I have it? Why? I don't want it. In your standby phase, you can banish this card on Destiny here from your game. What? Why do I have his shit? <gasps> Ref off the top! Let's go! Why do I have this idiot? It negates the first spell you activate. Oh, really? My spell card effect is... Spell card... Let me fucking read. Holy shit. When a spell card or effect you activate resolves, negate that effect. I see. If you do or do not have effect, destroy that card. Hmm. Get it off the field, you say. Easy. Easy. Wait, no. Every... No! <laughs> Ah, there's no way to get it off the field. Oh wait, no, I just use this. That's fine. I just use this. Yay! Done. That was hard, chat. That was real hard. Does he have ash? Nope. Oh wait, we find out now. Wait, what? Indicated both. Huh? It's not once per turn? Is it just not once per turn? Just an infinite- it's an infinite spell negate. Holy crap! Alright. Bro, heroes have the most unhinged cards. Like, what the fuck? Heroes get some cracked shit. Meanwhile, we have vanillas. Um, okay, well we're taking first. Taking first, and we're saying, you know, play game. I, I was like, oh, one spell. Okay. Indicate super poly? Wow. So I had to play to the board, but then I couldn't ref, so I just was like, no. Dark ruler no more negates, dude. That's kind of crazy. Crazy. But there you go. That's insane. Would anybody else like to jump into the tournament? I'm seeing no more ones in usernames. Blue Queen, are you in? I think I put you in. I'm not sure if you're in or not. Uh, give me first. Can we draw in a ref? Crash into the link too, but then I've lost my battle phase. Big shit. Big shit. There are cards that can negate Super Poly, though. And that didn't seem like it activated, so I think it actually would have negated Super Poly. Could be wrong, but it seemed like one of the ones that would. I should probably play Maximus instead of these guys. Oh, nice. Ash. Okay. Well, we have to just play out normal DM things. Sad. Um, Rod, go get one card. Doesn't really do anything. I guess soul send preps. Oh shit, that's what I said back. Oh! Fuck. This is not my game. Not my game. Well, let's just set up the schism play and hope it's enough. Yeah, that makes sense. That's That makes sense. I think it does stop Super Poly. Oh, we're discarding one now. I need to remember that. We are discarding one right now. I guess prep. Probably should have been Illusion of Chaos, but that's fine. Oh, wait. This has no search target. I'm not playing Punishment. Good job, me. I have no Dark in the Grave. I had to discard Illusion of Chaos. I fucked up. <laughs> oh, I fucked up. Make Link Karibo or tribute someone DMG. Yeah, but then I can't ref. Once again, any action, I can't ref, so there's no point. Oh, I fucked up this game too. I fucked up everything. Let's just not. Let's just not. <laughs> Alright, we have everyone here. We have someone called Blue Eyes as well. Giga Chat. Um, okay, no one else is entering. I can't see any more ones in the chat. 
So chat, I'm gonna read out the list. Oh, I'll just show the list. That's a lot easier. But we have. I will jump out because then it will be even. We have Blue Quinn. Wait, Blue Quinn, you're in, right? Yeah. Blue Quinn. It's see. Why did I put you twice? Blue Quinn. It's C's Mac. Aspiring Girl. Red. Meta Dracionis. Grizz Bear Max. Brandon. Gingerbread Man. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I will cut myself. And then we've got Perfect Eight. Beautiful. Well, without further ado, is everyone ready? We'll start the Battle City Finals. Ready? Here is our first two. I need to find my Excel spreadsheet where I was putting the results as well. Dark Angel's been in Duel Link since 2018. Damn. All right, we're spinning the wheel. The very first person is going to be... Aspiring Girl! Let's go! All right, Aspiring Girl, you are going to be versing. I can't find this Excel spreadsheet. I guess I can just open Excel. Red! You're ready to win? Based. Very based. Alright. I have found my shit. Oh, uh, could you guys go to table one, please? Go to table one, and we will be spectating. Uh, Dilligaff is not red, aspiring girl. That's the wrong person. Red might be in a duel right now. Uh, aspiring girl's in a duel right now. Oh, they left. Red and aspiring girl are right there, ready to go. Let's go. Duel is standing by. Let's go. Um, I guess I can just copy this further down. All right, we are going to spectate from the beginning. So our first game is going to be red. Inspiring girl, correct. Um, I need to go and find... Dice! <laughs> Yo, Dungeon Dice Monsters, let's go! Duke Devlin over here. Droll! Every DM card plays into Droll. And that is a fact. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to put that up there. Red and Aspire. So now the Doco. Yo, the Time Wizard pass? Based. Based coin flip deck right here. Some Giga Chad shit right here. I'm deleting a lot of shit. What's happening over here? Some heroes gameplay. Time Wizard is based. Based on what? I'm gonna start munching. 
Let's go. It's not a quick effect, it's um, when it's fusion summon, you toss a coin, you get a right, destroy as many monsters as possible and inflict half the damage to your opponent. Have uh, you call it wrong? Oh no, sorry, it destroys the monsters regardless. If you get it right, they take the damage, if you get it wrong, you take the damage. I think they take half the damage, it's really awesome. And um, Richard, there's been no news on the Flame Swordsman stuff, we still don't know if that Mirage Knight is for us or can be used by us or is just flame swordsman support i'm still guessing it's just flame swordsman support but we'll find out soon i hope I was really keen to see how the field spell played out in the battle phase. They could have had their attack half, doubled, lose, gain. It would have been really interesting. That's really depressing. Oh, I didn't realize. That's just game. God damn. GG's. Sparring girl goes through to the next round. GG's. Very nice games, and let's spin that wheel. Grizz. Grizz, are you in the chat? Move to table one, please, Grizz. And let's spin that wheel again, baby.
and Brandon. Brandon, are you still here, buddy? Because it's going to be you and Grizz playing on table one. Get your asses to table one. Get ready for some gaming. Grizz is here. Let's go. GG's, that was a good game, fellas. <laughs> the field spell was going to be cool. I was really interested. Um, Red, get off table one, please. I don't know who that is, Grizz, so just don't start yet. I don't know if Chef Boyardi is Brandon. Brandon, can you please confirm if that is you? The field spell, the field spell was scary. I'm going to get more food also. Look, I'm hoping this Chef Barati is Brandon, but um, haven't said anything in the chat, right? Don't think so. Oh, you are sweet. That's him. All right, Grizz, fire him up. Let's do it. The droll cooked you. Red was Red was cooking, but then the droll happened. I wanted to see the Duke Devlin combos, Red. Don't worry, next time. Next time we'll see him. I was a big fan of the Dungeon Dice Monsters deck. I really wish I could play some Dungeon Dice Monsters. The GBA game sucks. I want to play some real Dungeon Dice Monsters. What did I miss? Nothing. Nothing's happened yet. Incredible. Yeah, the Dungeon Dice video game was GBA though, and it's pretty bad. I've played it a lot, but it's hard to play nowadays. You know what I mean? Needs uh, We need a new one. Oh shit, we've got the Bonds combo and I missed Illusion of Chaos, thank you. There is the Dark Burning Magic. How will Chef Buriati, aka Brandon, deal with this? Oh, and there's a Draw 2 Soul Servant. Real DM is meant to be played like this. Going first, not bricking, not getting interrupted. <laughs> That's how you play DM. That's all good, it's C-Mac, that's all good, man. No stress.
This man is cooking with Nordic. Okay. Does IP become Appalooza? That'd be kind of nuts. Now that made IP look amazing, but that whole combo, that was sick. Yeah, this next list seems lit, hey. GG's, that was epic. Thank you, Grizz, for your epic gaming. So we checked my last tourney. It was me and Grizz in the finals last time, and he was playing the best DM deck. The purest DM deck, and here he is again. Doing it. You're a king, Grizz. Nice work, let's spin the wheel. Grizz's decks are always so cool. GG to you too, Brandon. That was a good game. Gingerbread man, are you here? Jump on table one if you're here, king. Gingerbread man 92 slash Dillagaff. Jump on that first table, legend. 
Can I see who's in the chat? I don't think I can. Participants? It only shows me like five people. Maybe he's not here anymore. <laughs> there is a big chance he's just not here anymore. He's in the room? He is Dilga. Oh, he's there. Okay, so he's here. How many people are in the stream right now? Can people see? How many people are watching slash listening? I don't know if mine's accurate. Mine's like, no one. <laughs> Sorry, let's roll our next person. 57? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mine says 59 right now, but like, it fluctuates. It's weird. Thank you. It's C Mac. Get in there, brother. Let's see you on the table one. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Sorry. You're watching the in-game and the stream, lol. <coughs> that also means uh, Blue Quinn and Mecha Meta Dracionis. If you guys want to play yours off stream, that's fine. Uh, if you want to wait for stream though, I would understand too. It's up to you guys. You can make that call. And then just report to me on who gets the Fab Victory Royale. Uh, we can always watch your game in the spectate mode as well. We can come in and watch it. So yeah, actually, could you guys start your game right now? Blueprint and Meta Dracionis, if you guys are in the chat right now. Any any gamers of that name in the chat right now? Thanks guys, we'll watch it right after, okay? Easy. It kicked you? That's a bit suspicious, but okay. I don't know, man.
All right, Baron Pass from the Blue Eyes. Big. Grave has Jet in it too. Jet can come flying out at any point. Let's see what uh, Dilligaf's got for us. I thought they said they were in master tier, but this is platinum three. So that's that's interesting. The Fable Dark Ruler Big Eye Combo. That's funny. He truly is playing like it's 2006 summoning Don Zagloon. At least he didn't try to attack directly with it on the Dark Ruler. That's a relief. Dual Links card! Dual Links card! Brother, I think you're meant to use the card you steal for a Link Summon, and not your own card. <laughs> Rot roll, Raggy! I think he fumbled the bag. Now we're jetting. Jetting and forgetting, baby. <laughs> Why did he set it? I think that's game. Yep. That's game.
Why would you attack? You could have one extra turn if you don't attack. <laughs> Why would you do that? Alright, well now it's definitely game. He doesn't even need a normal summon now. Before, Blue Eyes needed a normal summon. Now, Blue Eyes doesn't need shit. Wow, what a crazy game. And our Blue Eyes Gamer, it's C Mac, progresses to the next round. Oh, pardon me. Massive. The other match is quite a match. Let's go watch it right now. Watch it from the beginning. I'm going to update our list. <laughs> GG's. That was a funny game. I think there was a little bit of bag fumbling going on, but that's alright. Oh, okay, mutants from Blue Quinn. Mutants are kind of clap. All right, let's see it. The Kaiser Glider. Yo. Smacking into the Mutant Boy. Mutant Expansion. Summoning a guy. Getting a guy. Summoning another guy. Getting the fusion card. Look, Mutant have a fusion card, guys. Though so it's pretty bad, so whatever. Arsenal coming out. Yep, we're gonna banish and summon out the beast as well. So beast is the quick effect spell negate, and arsenal is the quick effect monster effect negate. Oh, it's cute little apple dragon man. Applin. Beauty infusion is pretty good, it just seems it's bad with their fusion on Yeah, that's how it is. GG's
All right, I'm back. Um, so this is our next round. Who just won then? It was Blue Quinn, right? Blue Quinn won knocking out Meta Draconis. So this is our top four. Our Duelist Kingdom semifinals. Let's have a big fat roll. Let's see who's up next. Aspiring girl, you're gonna be in our first game today. And you're going to be versing. Jump on table one, by the way. You're going to be versing. You're already there. So quick. Looks like it's Blue Quinn. Blue Quinn in blue. Alright, Blue Quinn, get in there. Have a nice fair game. Lots of DM summons. Lots of mum spaghetti. Alright, that means could we please get uh, Grizz and could we get It's C Mac or playing on table 2 or wherever else? Could you guys just play wherever you can and we will watch that replay straight after. Thank you, boys. This is our round 2 and our semi final going on right here, right now. Let's jump straight in. I'm gonna put some shoes on. These guys are gonna do. Ah, uh, probably. Oh, Luquin's rocking the cash. You're gonna see the Max C coming down. You're gonna see the Ash on the Max C though. None of that. None of that here. You're gonna be looking at that extra deck and ripping a card from it face down. Do we get to see it as the audience? I wonder. This is a face down rip. I don't know if we get to see it. May I see it? No. We do. It's acid. Goodbye, acid. Surprised it wasn't DPE. Unless there's multiple DPE in there. It's okay. We saw it. We saw it. Our blue coins on mutant cash. I see. Mutant Cry, a trap fusion card. Can they play the one DP? Surely that was the card to rip. Oh well. Wow. Mutant Beast hits the field. That means there is a spell negation on the field. Orc, oh my god, this deck is just a lot of things. Oh, you do play two DP. Okay, that's why he didn't rip DP. I was gonna say, I'm like, surely it's DP. But if there's two, then you're like, well, I'll just rip something else. There is the Colossus. Grim. Bring a special one from deck. Fenrir. I think you should have done that first. Oh no, you can still search. Yeah, you can still search. Wait, so it's only your opponent? My god. No, wait. Am I trolling? Cards cannot be added from the main deck to your opponent's hand. Oh my god, it's just your opponent. Colossus is so busted. Is a zone locked. I miss when zone lock was only possible with Ojama King. That's when zone lock was good. Now zone lock is cringe. The rise hard banish. We haven't even seen it yet. Spoilers, man. All right, Spiring Girl starting with a five card hand. See where this goes. Alright, we're gonna see a Fenrir probably coming out here, right? A 
Colossus lock plus cash, yeah. It's kind of, that's kind of rough. And there's a spell negate chucked in there with the muted card too. The best possible board your deck can make? I'm not surprised, that is super good. You're gonna see the T set with an extra one. If no rise heart, you could have won. God damn, your hand must have been packing. Now we're gonna hit the fast forward on because I think the outcome of this duel has already been determined. Let's find out. Double droplet called by a Pharisee on Damn. <clears throat> you could have one of you read the Munich card. They have a lot of text. They're very confusing. The the main deck boss monsters are like very confusing to read. Damn son, GG's guys. Let's move on to the next game of the semi-finals. Which is Grizz, Mac, and Blue Eyes. GG's though to both Aspiring Girl and Blue Quinn, and nice work to Blue Quinn for getting through to the finals. Let's watch our other semi final match. Here we have Grizz and It's Mac C, or Blue Eyes. It's, it's C Mac, rather, or who also is also going by Blue Eyes. And we're seeing a punk engine from Blue Eyes. We're gonna fast forward it so we can get up to where they're up to. Alright, Punk Combo into Chaos, Dragon Ruler, the magical fuckboy who's getting banned. We're gonna see an Imperm on it, so no extending for you. But jokes, this deck goes lol, we'll extend anyway. Zombie Vampire, we're gonna mill even more cards, because the Chaos didn't get to. And then we're gonna Chaos Space, and we've got a Bestial Draw Swarm as well. We're seeing there's DM clearly being played from Grizz, normally on pure DM. Rod getting banished for another Bestial, that is rough. The Bestial Lubellion coming out, the Branded Regained also doing things and then we're gonna see cards get banished to summon back the chaos dragon which triggers the branded regained and then we're gonna see a dictator of d so quite a lot of blue eyes uh well not a lot of blue eyes cards going on here just a lot of good engine and we've ended on the hope harbinger and the ip not to mention this draw swarm which will uh send a card when it leaves the field we're gonna be negating that secrets and sucking it up was it bait let's find out illusion of chaos goes in as rod Card is put on top of the deck. Then we are in live. We are currently live, so the game will probably slow down from here. We're going to see Rod Normal Summon. What is he going to pick up here? Still playing into the IP board here as well. The Drew Swim Send. Circle. So we're going to see Circle probably coming down next, and then maybe a Magician Souls. Is the Circle. Will this bait the IP? Thinking about it, thinking about it, no it does not, circle hitting the inheritance here, dark magic inheritance, let's check that grave, there is four spells in that grave that are able to be banished here, quite comfortably, quite comfortably might I add, we're going to see what gets banished, probably the upstart and the preparation of rights, yes, and that is going to let Grizz gather any DM spell trap, I believe. Add one spell trap that mentions Dark Magician, any of them. So, gonna grab himself a Soul Servant here. 
His hand must be pretty good then if you're grabbing Soul Servant. Tomias is going to activate. Getting rid of Rod to summon itself. This is possibly going to bait the IP out. We know one card in his hand is Soul Servant. Not sure on the other three. I imagine there's a DM in there and he's going to try to use the fusion effect. Here it goes. I'm going to attempt a fusion. Fusion Summon is resolving. Looks like he's going to make Dark Magician the Dragon Knight, and that means he's going to get a circle target to pop. Which I imagine he would go for IP, maybe even Hope Harbringer at this point. I'm not 100% sure. I would probably go for the IP. He's going for the back row. Going for the branded regain. We're going to see the IP effect chained here, probably using the Druid Swarm to go into a Unicorn Shuffle. Though it could also be going into... What else could it go into? Appaloosa's kind of dead here, so not that. Oh, League 5. Of course. The Goddess of the Underworld. I did not consider this, but yes, a Link 5. Now the weird thing is here, Circle can out her, so I'm not sure if that was the best play. Because I'm pretty sure we know that there's got to be a Magician Souls in the hand of Grizz here. We know Grizz has Magician Souls because he added Soul Servant a bit early. And I don't think you would add that unless you had Magician Souls. Though you could add it if you were bricked up and you need to set it and pass. She can negate someone from Grave. That is very true. I did forget that. I did forget she can negate someone from Grave. We're going to see Grizz hard play the Soul Servant. He does have a Dark Magician in the grave. I completely forgot it would have got sent there. And along with the Dragon Knight, that's two. So my bad, he can now use the Soul Servant just by itself. Banish the Soul Servant. Go and get the card he stacked. Being Salvation. Now he's got the Salvation, which means he has the Eternal Soul. Not sure on last card in hand. Not going to be using it. Passing turn there. Eternal Soul can get negated by the lady, I believe. Let me reread her real quick. Once per turn, your opponent activates a card effect that special summons from the grave. You can negate the activation. That is unfortunate. You need both Eternal Soul and Magician Souls in the one turn to get to a DM summon against this lady. But we are going to see the Dictator of D coming down from the Blue Eyes player here. That's right, we've got a classic Yugi vs Kaiba in the semi-finals of Battle City. Exactly like it. That means the next round's against Merrick. Let's see who can clutch it. Dictator of D allows you to pick where your opponent's monster attacks go, I believe. Yep. Oh, you have to control a blue eyes monster, however. So we are going to be discarding a card so we can summon a blue eyes monster from the grave. I his best card is Goddess of the Underworld. Well, that's that's a likely. He likes the the maiden with eyes of blue. It makes sense. Asha Rise is a card like Merrick would use. True. That means um. Yeah, who is it? Blue Quinn. Blue Quinn is our Merrick. Chaos Ruler making a reappearance as well because, hey, that card never comes back. Or oh, never doesn't come back. Aspiring Girl, I suppose you would have to be Joey then. But you're playing Hero, so you're actually Jaden. <laughs> Jaden who snuck his way in in Joey's place. You're going to see the Bestial Lubellion summoning to the field. And this probably means that, yeah, we're going to be placing that Brandis Branded Spell Trap uh, face up. And it's the Branded Beast. Give it a dragon, target a card. Ooh, I think that was a misplay. Why did he not use the Branded Beast card? Tribute, during the main phase, you can tribute a bestial. Literally tribute your Lubellion. Tribute a dragon, target a card on the field, destroy it. Oh, but something else happened instead. 
the eternal soul got negated of course I guess he's going to branded beast never because the game is over GG's to both Grizz and to our blue eyes enjoy our it's C Mac we're gonna have it's C Mac in the finals with blue Quinn that means our finals is cash Tira mutant versus blue eyes white dragon not quite the finals I expected out of my own tournament but sometimes that's how it is Nice work to all the gamers, and let's get straight into our finals. Jump on a table one, please. It's C Mac and Blue Quinn. Thank you very much to all the gamers, though. That was sensational. Always awesome to see Grizz's deck. I love Grizz's pure Dark Magician builds, they are so cool. And here we go, jumping into the finals of the Loza tournament. Mutant Castira sounds more casual, very fair. You still want to play me, Gingerbread Man? Mayhaps this can be arranged. He had Bond in hand, went for back row banish, and was going to bond with Dark Burning and wipe the field. Damn! That's rough. That's very rough then. Still a very good game. Oop, we're going to jump straight into Blue Quinn versus Blue Eyes. There'll always be time for another tourney. Not tonight though, but another time, of course. Another stream. Underworld Goddess? I was not considering that either. I was like, Unicorn, Appalooza, uh, SP and the Little Knight's not in the game yet. I was not expecting the Goddess. That was kind of big. Fenrir. Lucrin starting off strong. Let's see what's next. We should do a tournament where you can only use rares and commons. Rares and normals or whatever they're called. That would be so fun. Everyone battling it out with the shittest cards possible. Surely we like find what's the best deck in that format. <laughs> with all the rares and all the commons. I would just play shit like Penguin Soldier. It would just feel like some old school Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm kind of down to give that a try as a format. The brick's so bad, don't tell us that. Don't tell us that. Your draw will fix everything, don't worry. Yeah, negating the graveyard summon. I, I hadn't really considered that. I was just like, oh yeah, you can out it with circle, but nope. Yeah, basically goat format, but like none of the good cards. <laughs> Top deck Fenrir, Blue Quinn just wins. Blue Quinn's got the spell negate up and the monster negate up. Oh, and the ash on the chaos base. That is a little rough. That is a little rough. He is going to have the call by the grave though. Oh, let's go. Yeah, go format after the ban. I'm guessing he ripped acid because, like, there's no real point ripping. DPE if you have two, but I don't know what else there would be to rip. I guess you rip Sunrise or whatever the one is that adds the, the fusion from Grave card. Alright, so coming back here. Oh, we went to Chain Link 5 with Mutant Beast negating the call by. By banishing Cash to a Unicorn. And then another called by being played on the Ash. Holy crap. Oh my god. Sunrise would be the best to rip. Yeah, that's the one that adds the miracle fusion or whatever it is, right? Setting one and passing from your boy here. Unfortunately, there was just too many interactions back and forth. 
Adding blue eyes to hand isn't always the best play. Sometimes that's all you got though. Ooh, we're gonna see birth, and birth is not a card you want your opponent to have. Not only does it let them summon caches, it lets them banish cards in your grave if you use a spell. Triple Magician of Chaos and Jin's Over game. Amazing. We see Fenrir searching a card because that's very balanced and cool. Oh, he's got the normal summon. I hate that they gave Cash a normal summon. And it is a victory for Blue Quinn. GG's to Blue Queen being the second ever Loza tournament winner after myself. <laughs> nice work. Really awesome game all around. Unfortunate that Blue Eyes didn't have much to do there. Sometimes that happens. Merrick wins. Worst timeline. Amazing though. Alright. Bonus match time. Uh, I'm versing, uh, what's their name? Um... Grimbus Hopper. Can I edit this deck? Can't edit your deck in the in the thing. You have to do this. There we go. Can edit the deck. Oh, we already have the Lightning Storm in. I guess I keep the twins then. Get back in there, Twin Twister. GG's, y'all. That was so epic. I really need to fix this extra deck. There is some wild shit in here. <laughs> Pardon me. Maybe even this. Doesn't seem too bad. Okay. We dueling gingerbread man or what? Real gingerbread man hours. We reckon gingerbread man we gaming? Cash is supposed to be an engine. Hey, look, same brother. Same when I play DM, but then you're like, hold on, these cards are correct. And they just keep winning your games. Mr. Gingerbread Man Dilly Gaff, where you at? Oh, absolutely. You take second all the way. Second with blue eyes is awesome. And Mutant Cash Tira winning is based. Room number again? Oh, I didn't pin it. I didn't pin it. My bad. I normally pin it. This time I didn't. I completely forgot. I even said I would do it. And then I just didn't. You know how it be. I'm just bumping my own messages up because otherwise it's really hard for me to pin it. There we go. It is pinned. All right, let's go. Cracked gaming right here. Let's go, GG. Probably my last game that I may have said. Set one pass, damn. Ginger really set us up for the most, the best Dark Magician deck. Set one pass, sometimes that's that's what you gotta do, I guess. Sometimes the best DM deck sets one and passes. Brick. 
What? You're telling me the DM deck can brick? I don't believe you. A deck that revolves around a vanilla and a vanilla girl can brick? What? Oh, holy shit. I think I got this one, Chief. Oh, I banished the other copy though. That sucks. Anyway. Waking the dragon, waking the dragon, waking the dragon, waking the dragon, waking the dragon. Mystical <laughs> space typhoon. I found out why you bricked, brother. I found out why you bricked. My god. I think I know why the, the deck don't be doing the thing. <laughs> Dark Magician Girl had an effect. Oh, that was searching. Whoops. I shouldn't have added Thunderbird. Oh well, it doesn't matter. It's just game. What is up, Kenneth? Are you gaming right now? Kenneth, you gotta tell me, buddy. Are you a gamer? Because we only accept real gamers here. Gamers who are flopping it out. Gamers who are willing to put their Dark Magician deck on the line. Like our good friend Dillygaff slash um, Gingerbread Man here. You gotta be able to risk it all. To prove the DM's the best deck. This plays around Magi Karibo. Bonk! DMG's not a vanilla. Have you seen her leather outfit? Yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, you game, you have the night off. What a king. Kenneth is out here king. Alright, there you go, gingerbread. We're gonna base all of our you know, all of our beef and arguments over that one duel, and I guess I won, I guess that's it. I guess the better DM deck won, you know? It's crazy. <laughs> crazy, that. You're bringing DM to the next episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Big. Next time. Alright, we'll go again, we'll go again. Maybe, maybe the deck can do something that we've never thought of. Maybe Gingerbread Man has cracked a DM. Let's see. Can we look at the list? Double Evenly Ash and Regeki. Don't forget the MST. Don't forget MST. Yeah, Grizz, give us the list. Show us the goods. We gotta, we gotta get the, the Grizz list. Can I check it from the replays? Um, it gets a bit weird, but I can yeah, I can go like into the replays and like steal it from there. I can't save the replay, huh? Hmm. Normally you can check it in the replays. I remember there's a way to do it. It's a little. A little cooked though. Hmm. We get to see the opening hand though. Uh, yeah, this ain't gonna do it. Give us the Grizz list. Give us the Grizz list. Look at Grizz's replays though. Grizz, you're only in silver? This is horse shit. You're the best DM player. You can't be in silver. We gotta get you straight to diamond. Oof. Been a long day. Long day of gaming. Gotta go out soon. Do some more gaming. Gaming of a different kind.
Yeah, if he was in Duelist Cup, he would be level 21. That's facts. You'll be playing streamer tournaments, Chris. Oh. Maybe we should just play a heavier bestial engine in DM. But I guess it adds more bricks to the fire, doesn't it? Is this duel happening as we speak? This is indeed Blue Quinn vs Blue Eyes. They're just having a friendly DM vs Blue Eyes game. Hey, the blue eyes cards are right there, man. Becomes alternative.
He does have royal DM cards. Blue Queen is cracked. He summoned monster that is banned. bring pot of greed back but now we put all the other pots to one they'll put pot of greed to to a negative one this looks like a dead blue queen yep It's Jehovah. There's no way they can put Pot of Greed to one. Draw two cards with a pencil. That's how they bring it back. You get to draw two with a pencil. Their opponent gives you feedback. Great, you think Graceful Charity is okay? Graceful Charity is not okay. <laughs> Graceful Charity is better than Pot of Greed. Graceful Charity is one of the best spells, I think, in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Drawing three and discarding two would make so many decks busted. So many decks. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, Gingerbread Man. Graceful Charity is easily one of the best cards ever printed. Think about all the decks that utilize Graveyard, and like you just get to put two cards from your hand in there. It's absolutely absurd it did draw yeah draw dm and dmg discard them cracked cracked you can stop it with multiple cards now yeah but that's bad <laughs> um we go to your profile grizz Replay. A replay profile. That <laughs> just takes me to your profile. I don't think I can. Roll. <laughs> Yo, true. Roll. Roll busted. I can see his deck. Oh, I can just click on his actual card. I can't click on his deck, but I can click on his extra deck. Yay, modern DM ratios. Good links. Azalea too, I like it. Solid. Most solid extra deck for DM, pure DM I've seen. I don't know, man. This game's really weird about deck lists. Pot cards have a cost, though. Pot cards have an actual cost. Graceful Charity doesn't have a cost. Graceful Charity's cost is discarding too. That's not a cost. It was not a cost at the start of Yu-Gi-Oh! And it will not be a cost today. Alright. I think that's a good spot to end the stream. Yeah, the Graceful Charity cost is a bonus effect, straight up. What deck got you to diamond? A couple of different ones. It's a cost you're discarding cards. Gingerbread man, I can tell you haven't played the game since the game first came out. Because that is where your logic is from. <laughs> Nobody who plays the Yu-Gi-Oh card game would think discarding cards is a cost. Not a single person would think of that. 
Um, this is the list we're settled on for now, but it's a mess, and the list we played beforehand are also a mess. The list that got us the diamond, I don't even remember. It was some sort of list though. Yeah, GG's Bluecoon. Everyone congratulate Bluecoon on their 20 win. Big, big props to you. Massive legend. And we'll catch everyone next time where we're being even more of a Muppet in ranked. We hit Diamond 3 today, but I, I we went negative, so I, I don't even know how that works. But welcome to Master Door Ranked, I guess. We'll, we'll try and hit Diamond 2 and 1 tomorrow, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway. Bye.